What's going on, people? It's your boy, Dark. We out here. Hello, and I'm accompanied by Disturbia and Cosmic Flare. XL. Hello, everybody. What's Hope up, everyone? Good as well. That's uh, extra large. Yeah, man. Cosmic <laughs> Flare, extra large here. Thank you uh, for coming <laughs> out here as we are in the... Uh, Team Wars grand finale with uh, two fantastic teams having the debut team for a brand new team this season, X Factors, not only making their first season appearance, but coming all the way to the finals along with Diffusion, two new and very jam packed teams here. Um, clearly, both have a great roster here. We have some key players, and I know uh, Disturb, you can go ahead and just highlight for us for just a moment or so. Yeah, exactly. Two very impressive teams here. X Factors are uh, showing insane um, matches um, since the beginning, pretty much. And same for Diffusion. And it's going to be a pretty interesting matchup between these two teams because uh, one of them has shown an insane power, which is X Factors and Diffusion. Really powerful as well, but also giving surprise. So I cannot know who will win, but I know these two teams have a lot of potential to win the final. So. I don't know what about you guys, but it's going to be a tight choice for me. Oh, not yeah. to lie. It's, it's de they definitely got some stats that are clashing here, so it's definitely going to be a crazy battle, hopefully, that we'll remember for years to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Uh, X Factor is going with a season record of 7 and 3, <laughs> being first in the Wasteland Division, being fifth overall in the league here. Um, looks like they have some key players to kind of note here. Tetsuya um, going six and three, and Saku also being five and four. However, Diffusion not too far from them, considering how they were one of the lucky six and four teams to go ahead and top, being third in their division, and not only making all the way here, but having players such as Ra, who was going eight and three, and Chu as well, previously going seven and two. And that's not the only players these teams really have to consider here. Um, I mean, of course, clearly, it's not just a one-man job here. They clearly both have a very strong roster, such as um, players uh, Tetsuya going 18-10 and 10 this entire season thus far, or even going to Diffusion, one of their strongest players, I would say, who surprisingly is not in the lineup that we've seen today, going 18-7 and 7, Mudkey. Um, we all can remember him many times just as kind of the ritual beast god, in my opinion. I mean, what did he go, 9-0 and at one point in the game um, versus ADL, I believe? I mean, man's insane. So we definitely have some key players and definitely some uh, streakers who really can take off today. But against teams like this, ready to kind of just pop off here, it's really just anyone's game right now. Exactly. Both teams have a very, very insane roster, and we've seen, uh, in terms of position, as he said, uh, first in its own division, it was X Factors, and third in its own division, Diffusion. And X Factors was actually fifth overall, Diffusion 12th overall, which you can actually imagine the amount of teams that are very good here uh, due to the, the placements. But yeah, looking forward to this match. Um, yeah, I guess let's spectate. Oh, yeah, it's begun. Yeah, no, the first game of the Team Wars Finals finally kicking it off, boys. And the first thing I see is Yami Yugi on both sides. Right oh, now. yeah. Exactly. Way to, Where way is Kaiba? Where is Kaiba? I thought we were going to have a nice duel. Yami Yugi against 
uh, Sodo Kaiba, oh. the classics, but no, it's going to be two Yamayugi, which sometimes can mean anything, but viewing at the amount of cards they have in both decks, it's going to be actually a mirror match, Element Saber, on both sides. Yeah, no. Um, throughout this entire season, I will say this. Um, I mean, we've all known Nal for a while now, but he's been in love with the Sabres. We're seeing him play it here. We've seen him play it throughout majority of the Team War season. We're also seeing it, see him play it in the uh, KC Grand Tournament. But something that is interesting to note is the fact that he's only playing 24 cards. He usually tends to play the thicker versions, so he really yeah, that's what I was good. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He he was using some cool little Odeon like variant where he was using heavier trout counts. So nice to see some regular uh regular old E Saber action starting off just keeping it simple. Exactly. Yeah. But starting also, off with the... this time Saku hacks actually has a very good feel, even if one back row, as we can see a Laster, Molohu plus the palace. And instead now with three back row, which can mean anything i'd say yeah no sabers really have the ability to essentially play whatever they want in that back row there it's just a bit unfortunate because we know he didn't have such a hot start that uh nah did but it's interesting so he's going using the effect of malahi fitting face down a leicester which means he's not i mean what's tight is that if he attacks he knows he's going to give the destiny draw skill to no so uh, my guess is that he's not going to play it Plus, I remember, if I remember correctly, he didn't have the palace on the first turn. Let me just see. Yeah, exactly. He did not have it. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. He was able to so hold he... relatively well. Um, and right Here now, comes the we're... invocation. I have to do Cossidus just to avoid any... Well, I mean, there's not really going to be any wall of disruption or... A, I feel like it's a good safe move to some Kodokositis on the field, just have that protection. Uh, yeah, it generally it is, just to avoid the here. targets. Though the Floodgate is really going to molest, I mean, perturb him. Right. Yeah, you know, floodgate definitely right. puts, uh, makes Kositis a lot easier to deal with in the sense of that you're not dealing with just a super heavy defensive monster kind of tackle every second. But, um, True that. And it's right. not, I mean, it's still a body on the board at this point, but yeah, it will be a little bit easier to deal with being face down. Yeah. And he's going for an attack here. This is actually going to be dangerous because Saku has used the effect on the Alaster. And he's. Okay. So that. It actually depended on the back row because I was thinking if he had an ending chain, that will actually be terrible because you take 1900 damage. You use an ending chain, which is going to destroy the palace, and it lets you get destiny drop. Which could have been a very good field then for now in that situation, but instead he's going to use finish chain, stopping the attack of Molahu. So, yeah, no, but that... that finish chain is actually really going to uh, perturb Saku as he has used the effect of Molahu to his own Elaster. Though, what happened is that he decided to also sacrifice Elaster to then do Cossidus, which has been floodgated. So in terms of plays, and in my opinion, uh, oh, the, wow. the one who's winning so far is not. So Saku needs to think on how to deal against the field of No, who can actually have advantage because of the back row. Um, yeah, he just he just he just melt that freebie out of the graveyard. He doesn't even need the. He's like, I don't even need to use my face down effect. I'm just milling to get his targets for Alistair. And he's got that invocation. Is he exactly. going for the big play? That was... So even if the effect of Molahu is negated, Molahu can still send a monster to the graveyard thanks to the palace, which is still helpful to let the player do the fusion. Going for the invocation, he's going to go for Purgatrio. Yeah, no, he's definitely looking to make a bigger play here. Um, despite that Phoenix game being here on the way, he, he did have many ways to kind of out it so that he no longer was live. But looks like right now, Saku's kind of floodgate number two, enforcing kind of bringing this floodgate out of here, trying to make a big push. So now we're seeing that this Phoenix can get some type of value here, essentially, since we know that Saku is in a position where he can begin a deck out. It's pretty difficult to do so considering how sabers do run two invocations 
but nonetheless, Nas is putting himself in a much better position considering how he now only has essentially one back row to deal with, which is very good for him. So, right now, hopefully, with this face down here and this back row and the cards in hand, it potentially will allow him to make a, a big push. But we just this have to see what he can do. It's actually pretty insane what we're looking at. There's two fusions blood gated. So, um, Saku can actually still use a laser if he wants to protect one of the monsters. Um, the main issue is actually going to be cost it is as he needs to find a way to um, get more attack. So he's like able to surpass the cost it is, who will be boosted actually by a laser as a laser is a quick effect. So. Okay, I thought he had a play beyond the, the Lapuila, but he's just gonna flip the Lapuila into attack mode. Yeah, this is actually very, very strong from Not here, considering how Lapuila is able to negate anything that's gonna be activated from that back row. And since currently he only has to deal with one, one Alistair normal summon here could be very, very big from him. Um, it is a bit unfortunate that he doesn't really have anything in the graveyard to work. Oh, Ballista. What? Ballista. Uh, that is that's not a. That's not a regular point, thing he's, I see. He's forced to negate that. He's forced to negate that. Otherwise, uh, his monster will be destroyed. So that was actually a good move doing the ballista because now he can actually do another fusion and he can, can actually go for another Purgatrio. Right, and he got the negate out the way. Exactly. Also, just. One little thing to point out uh, with the argument of Element Saber rarely decking out, which I do agree with the fact uh, that they have two invocation, which they can put it back in the deck. There is still a way to deck out, and it's if the players have three back row on the field and they decide to stall. Oh yeah, they get in that that's, stalemate position and they're not able to play any more cards. Deck out another Element Saber. Okay, going for the Pugatra this time. So this is now the second Purgatrio being here. Um, Belisa Squad being a very interesting tech. I believe we saw the first Ooh, time it no used No timing. Maker. No floodgate this time. That it was used by uh, Anthox, who won the uh, Meta Weekly about a few weeks ago. And right now, currently, despite that Malay who's still being um, chained up right now, he does have the ability to kind of swing in. And if he does drop that Alistair to go to 40... One, no, forty-three. Mm -hmm. I believe. He said, "Uh-uh, Phoenix Chain number two. Phoenix Chain again. He has no choice. He is really putting the pressure on. Yeah, now. he's got. He's yeah, got he needs really to, need to do. He <laughs> needs to do Purgatrio. Purgatrio is what's going to save him, as he's able to attack Molahu. He's also able to maybe attack Purgatrio as well. Cassidus, I will pretty much avoid it. Yeah, no, because Cassidus right now, Cassidus has, two, let me check the defense on it, 2,800, 2,900? 2,900 defense, yeah. yeah. So the thing that will happen is two things. He has been floodgated, which is good, but then you're attacking him, he is face up again, and he's able to attack in defense. Not only that, but Alistair has the timing to increase the attack and defense of Cassidus, which will make him 3,900 in defense. And worse is that if Saka decides to put more Alistair just to boost him, uh, with his defense, that will actually be pretty nasty. Yeah, no, so it definitely could be. Instead, he's going for a Molehu face up on the field. He's actually looking pretty good in terms of field. Not only that, right. but he'll be able to negate the spell trap from his opponent, but also has a Molehu to control over his monsters. He's in a very good spot. Yeah, for Na right now, he is in a position where. It is going to be a bit difficult for him, considering how he only is going to have one negate, essentially, um, and one flip if he has in hand. So right now, he would have to essentially fight through a double invocation here. But I see that they finally got the poll started here, which is good, which is a question we kind of discussed a little bit off air, which I'm going to re-ask you boys here. Who do you guys think, which again, the Team Wars Twitch chat can join us and also is going to win this war in Team Wars? So uh, we can start off with you, uh, Dark. Can you tell me who you think is going to win this war and then maybe give some of your reasoning behind that? So it's, it's kind of hard to say because the teams are pretty close in their stats, but I've seen Diffusion in plenty of uh, team battles so far and I've, I've seen Nod just 
wreck people with this heavy back row sabers. They got nice stats. Let's say uh, Mudkey, 18 wins, 7 losses. And he's getting about a, what, 4.5 wins per minute. Popping off. Uh, e Conte. Oh, it's right, E Conte oh. taking over the La Poila. And yeah, first to negate because otherwise that makes a uh, game loss. Because the La Poila will be on the side of Saku. And not only that, but Saku can actually take full body. And in the backer as well. That's Wait. quite a hit here. The Econ is actually the, the card that really perturbs, so Lapole had to come, but then bad aim as well, chains targeting the backer. Yeah. So right here now, this is gonna kinda testify a bit more to what I mentioned earlier. Right now, um Nah here is really gonna need a saber in hand to kinda allow himself to be flipped down because right now currently he's in a position where we know there's an Alistair in hand. But it and there's a bad aim to get rid of the chains in the oh back row. Oh my god, he has the unending nightmare. Oh my goodness. Oh dude. That is a top bit here. So now, unless there even if there is a flip in hand, you have to deal with two Purgatrios, one Malehu. Okay, is that first and then dig is actually very clever. He's targeting the Infidious chain that actually targets Malehu. So Malo can use the effect to flip down for a gacha to put it in attack again. Nah, he's triggering D draw, bro. Dude, I mean, all... he, he, he uses the two effects to then get this team to draw, but just remember that he's in main phase on the side of Saku. But the thing that I had in mind is what he could have done, because he decided to destroy the two in this chain, is destroy one of them and use it later maybe to like target the palace instead. Because what he could have done is use the effect of Malahu to the Purgatrio. Purgatrio flips down. The, uh, the Fiendish Shane is just useless, so when you're going to flip up, it's not affected by Fiendish Shane. But instead he went for the two Fiendish Shane destruction, which is still fine, but we'll see. Yeah. The he thing, like, my issue is, I don't know why he went for targeting the two Fiendish Shane, because one of them was a sort of a brick, which means now we'll have just two spots to play some of the back rows. I mean, back rows, sorry. So... Well, nonetheless, right now, looks like he is going to use that Malehu effect not only to kind of make his graveyard a bit thicker here, but also giving himself some fodder so that he is able to go into a third Purgatrio now, as well as putting that Malehu face down, considering how it does have only zero defense. So right now, essentially, Saku is setting himself up for not only clear lethal, I think this is a game right here. This is actually a game, because you can see Malehu has been face down. It's like, do you guess he's not able to use any of them save let me see. Yeah, he's gonna be grabbing that invitation back. So, I wonder if he still has the negate for the Laquila. But he's looking at two Purgatrios. He didn't come use in it because otherwise he will have used it earlier. But for me, it's pretty much over. Targeting yeah. the house as well. One K life points. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. He knows there's no sphere creeper. He even dropped the Alistair. Oh man, all lives don't. Oh shoot. Oh my goodness. Oh, he drops the alley now. Alright, good night. And that first game is going to go for X Factor. Saku taking on the first duel against No. Oh my goodness. That was a. Uh, dude, that was a perfectly timed duel. Saku essentially holding on to the majority of that back row there. And you can literally see within the last few turns or so, he literally just said it all at once and they just instantaneously just popped off there and these are the type of plays that are really gonna really allow a team to make a big push to get this title here so i'm really curious to see how now is going to respond along with the rest of diffusion to kind of get themselves on board especially after such an exhilarated first match exactly and another thing is that with uh, the first duel that happened on it's going to be tough to know if the the other team decides for a repeat but it might be possible I don't think so, because as for the mirror match it is, it's generally pretty much half half when it comes to see who is the winner. And it's actually pretty tight for a duel between two element sabers. So my guess here is going to be that Diffusion is not going to go for a repeat. Yeah, I'm not seeing any repeats in the chat currently. Yeah. It's got yeah, exactly. no coming back up with this next deck. 
Yeah, I, for coming from a player slash a uh, also slash a uh, caster um, standpoint, I think using a repeat as of late, I understand it can be very strong to use early on, but using a repeat in a mirror match, um, honestly, is a very weird call. Not only is it very risky, but you have to one hundred percent say that like you know this deck like this has to be something that you know at the back of your hand and Nod definitely is a person like that considering how he did play in the KC Grand Tournament with this but in a moment like yeah. this I don't know you have to do what's best for your team man yeah it's really yeah, I mean that repeat could affect him later on so yeah I mean yeah that is actually the first thing yeah so uh going back to my question earlier we got Dark's opinion on who we feel is gonna win the uh entire uh, finale of Team Wars, but Disturbia, give us your opinion on what you think. <laughs> I actually stated a bit in the beginning, so that's why I'm reacting like that, but mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, uh -huh. I feel like Spectres can actually take the win over Diffusion. Though, as I said, the two teams are very good, and we, we, we shouldn't even deny the fact that these two teams, if they make it to the finals, we know that they are good, but the thing I feel about Spectres they're very very good players like this combo we've just seen in this first duel it pretty much means everything almost i mean it depends like on the hand you get as well but imagine you have like a lot of back row he has set some back row that i did not expect which is an ending chain Barim, and econ which i think is pretty impressive that econ was what gave him the game for me because then he changed Barim, targeting the phase down so very impressive play from him, uh, from Sakuhi in that case, but I will personally say that X-Factors can maybe take on the finals. Yeah, no. Okay. So, so Saku, I believe, begins first again, but this time with Palace 2 back row. He's looking good. He's so looking good. Enough. Plus, he used the effect of Palace, drawing Molehu. So, already an insane field on his Grass side. Grass that looks greener. He's All just right, getting that so... power opening. So he who said... cares about nurse when you draw grass? <laughs> Benless? A... No way. That is and not a bad Look at his mill. Double double unveiling Galaxy Cyclone for the field card. He also has a Patronus that hit the graveyard. And a charge. And he does not the Galaxy Cyclone. <laughs> It's really important to note that we saw Miller charge here because that means he is essentially either playing a combination of the semi-limited cards considering how Holiday's how been hit to three now. Or he could be just an animal and honestly oh, just straight up playing. Good show of Nightmare here. Oh Pardon. very good. He has the unveiling. So Yeah, you... which is going to help him because then one of the other unveiling will come to the hand if he controls a witchcraft on the field. So Optimus got the guinea. Again, he's going to tribute itself. Alright, so in normal summon the Gany. Discards the unveiling again to special summon a Witchcrafter. He might go for Madame Ver, but otherwise he can go for Shmira. Shmira or Pitre. He's going to go for Shmira. This, okay, this that's actually an here. issue. You can see there's three unveiling in the graveyard. That's a bit of an issue. Yeah, no. And since he did, um, oh wait, no, he did add it back to hand, so he will have the ability to recover one at least by the end of this turn here. However, the fact that he did go into Edel, he's either going to tribute here, which he is activating the effect, of course. And it looks like he's going to target one of the witchcraft monsters in the graveyard. Going to bring out that Lilo. Which was milled really, really nice. Very nice. Here. He will so, yeah. probably go for the back row, I think. Yeah, of because course. he has a way to destroy the palace next turn with the Galaxy Cyclone, so. Okay, he's gonna stop that. He said, no, I'll leave my back row alone. Not today. And then Guinea's gonna do her thing. Right, so Guinea, which is going to discard the only unveiling. 
you know, which witchcraft is, uh, is from the hand. It's another Gany. Oh no. Which is not the worst. Shmita using her effect and getting another witchcraft to spell. And actually the good thing is he'll recover two spells. So it's not the worst thing ever. Because Molly's effect you, triggered or all nope, cannot oh, yeah. No no. You get nothing. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing. I, I got nothing that is for you. Brutal. That is actually brutal. The other positive thing for Saku, Ganeria, ward a monster when summoned uh, when there's a trap chain. So he could use that Ganeria if he wants to do a Cassidus. Yeah, it could be Cassidus fodder. But in this current position here, Na is really in a position where he has to essentially top deck a holiday. And we've seen actually, one holiday. That is going to be dead. No, nah, that's game. Over. Yeah, that's game for me. Because Alistair yeah, says yeah. invocation. Nalu is in the graveyard, Nalu changes to fire, you do Brogatria, and two defenseless monster and face dawn, which is going to be game here. Oh, uh, they said it, you can't you can attack, what? No, he said Ah, true. Yes, he cannot I attack. First, ah, yeah, I did not ah, even see so. I missed Alice it. on first place. Yes, exactly. The people no, are right. He used the palace to get Muller here, so he cannot attack even if he does the Brogatria. Not going past this disturbing. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad passer. You you can see right off the bat, I'm going so fast, saying, "Oh, that's game," and yes, I'm wrong. So, my apologies. Oh, good homie. But either way, I mean, to be honest, dude, Malehu Perg is gonna be present. Um, palace on board here. If he has a back row, dude, honestly, he's kind of like, he's kind of chilling. And shout out to Hideki, bro, for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Poggers. Oh, Hideki, Poggers. Bro, being a Hideki, bro, right now. Dude, Hide every time, dude, Hideki comes in chat, he's like, you get a sub, you get a sub. You don't have one, you get a sub. <laughs> I'm giving you two subs. Like, he's a beast, Everybody's bro. getting subs. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. Are you playing Fortnite? You get a sub. And he's like, all right. Back to Fortnite. So invocation's <laughs> popping off right now. Right, he's going for the fusion this time. So oh okay, wait! That, oh, so he's very cheeky, going for the early Cosidus instead of Progetto because he knows he does an attack. But the real plus is going to be that there's no back row, so Cosidus is just unaffected by anything. Cassidus typically isn't even that good going against Witchcrafters, but since that not only hit. I think it'll be maybe a bit stronger, but to top it all off, um, right now he does understand that, like you said, he doesn't have a battle phase, so no reason for him to really make a lord exactly. push here. Exactly, I like the cyclone, good choice, good by palace. There was some timing, but I think that's only because of the palace, but it depends because Molohu can have more timing if there's an element saber on his hand, on the hand of Sako. Should be checking for that toggle with the... Uh... Whoa, discarding oh, Patronus. Bringing back unveiling. Oh man, it's getting intense. It's it is. Up Genny. I do think he's going to let Genny pass. There is, in my opinion, a need to have Madame Ver as soon as possible. Because like that, oh no, wait, it, yeah, that's what I was thinking. If he doesn't have more spells, that's the issue. So he does discard it. No, actually he's fine. He's pretty fine because he'll have two Witchcrafters. Yeah, so he's going to have two Witchcrafters here. So essentially he's going to be guaranteed to recover his spells. Which is going to allow him to bring out a, another beer, which will be nice. But yes. the big issue is just the fact that essentially, unless he can flip down both of those bad boys, or kind of get them locked down one way or another, that's. Okay, so, uh, pardon me, I was much. actually thinking about Molehu, Molehu if he was able to use its effect, which no, he does not, which is what surprises me. Because if he had any elements stable, that could have been bad because you flipped down the bear. Even if there's speed trade, you still get the cards back. That could be very bad because you have Madame Ver just unable to use her effects. But now he's sort of back, looking at this kind of feel, able to just negate most of the effects from his opponents. 
Yeah, no, Witch Crafters are definitely one of those uh, one-card recovery decks, but looks like he is attempting to use the flip down now, Malevu effect. Yeah, in my Look opinion, he could be cheeky because he has two spells in hand. What he could do is exactly wait, having the card face down. Patriot is going to be the one transforming itself in Madame Verde, but I thought he was going to do earlier. He did not. Here comes no. the Alistair. Yeah, oh, no wait. Do... The Alistair has no, ended he... the building. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, but I mean, that... I don't know, like, before you have, like, I don't know, before Alistair is summoned, if Petra changed to Madame Ver, in that situation, he will be able to negate the effect of Alistair searching for vocation. Yeah. But even then, though, there's no real typical reason to typically do that, considering how um, you can negate the effect of the actual fusion itself. And again, since he is going to have two beers and they're pretty beefy, he's only going to take a tad bit of damage as opposed to the piercing slaps he'd get from here. Exactly. So yeah, no. Right now, currently, uh, not in a very good position. Like, this deck literally is a one-card recovery, man, so he's kind of chilling. So Invocation going to activate. We are going to see a Purgatorio, of course. Eco! Eco! Oh, oh god. Wait, no, he's still... Oh my gosh, he's playing around the negate of the face-ups. What in the world? This man's a beast! Dude, call the police! <laughs> Stolen. Oh my gosh. Dude, Econ has been snatching these games. Dude, oh my goodness. Dude, this one yeah. will stay. Oh my gosh, good night. Good night. Oh my gosh. We move, baby. We so move. Wait, 27. Uh, I mean, he's actually fine. Wait a second. Layla is the only card that is going to be destroyed, but then you have an Amver. But Amver can introduce her attack still, I think. I mean, it's quick effect like a Leicester, so... Because there is a holiday in hand, correct? Right. Yeah, exactly. He drew holiday. Oh. And he ends the phase oh, in no cannot risk it. Wait, what the? This... See, I get, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. He did good because there's just 2,700. If he attacks, Madame Ver has 2,800 defense. He wastes the Aleister. And then Madame Ver is like, well, I use my spell. You have it in your ass, my friend, because I had more defense. You know, maths. Oh my god. But... He just lost all those cards. I find this situation really hard to deal with too. So not when you got multiple which when you have gear on the field, up. and it's like yeah, you're trying to get rid of it. Oof. Yeah. Palace this time. Ooh, that's maybe another story. And this is the part where the where he's the sitting. Turn. All right. Yeah, he's sitting on the field with the veer, and he's just gonna keep replenishing his hand. Yeah, he just needs to do that, and he's also good. Galaxy Cyclone this time. I don't know why he played the palace, it was just gonna be popped right there. Yeah, I think he forgot that there was a second Galaxy Cyclone in the graveyard. So I guess he didn't check the graveyard of his opponent. No, Masterpiece being activated, and Masterpiece just taking back the charge of the Light Brigade who is in the graveyard. So he's just gonna swing in with the Shmeta here, so he's probably gonna yeah. attempt to force some things out, because he's got, what, two spells in He'll hand. have to use two spells. <laughs> no, three. Three? No, he has to get bigger. Yeah, he needs to get three spells, because otherwise... I mean, he doesn't even trigger the Destiny Droid, but my maths are correct, and incredibly it is. I was correct. <laughs> so, now he gets more spells back to the end. No destiny draw as well for Saku. Honestly, that's impressive how Witchcraft is actually back. The Egan was indeed good. Though, I don't know, I really have a feeling that if Madame Ver used the effect earlier when you have, like, I don't know, a Leicester summon, then you negate the effect of the Leicester. That could be actually bottom. So, my guess for why he didn't do it is because the opponent could have an invocation in hand. And if that was the case, that could have been more terrible indeed. So... 
<laughs> in before we see two holidays, two charges. So double beer on the field. Yeah, it's no no fear here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Canadian. Doing a Canadian for the show. Because, yeah, but I'm there. Triple boost, and that's over. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of hurting, unfortunately. And summoning Canadian. And that is going to begin. That's, that's honestly. I didn't even expect the result here, but as I said, when I say diffusion gives surprises, you can see what I mean. I have no words. Yeah. I have no words. That's yeah. so impressive. Like, for real, I had like yeah. a feeling that if he did what I thought that would be game, but what he did was also game. Like, what? No, the this... man, I can't believe. These two players, my lord. Just bouncing so back long. from what we thought was a possible loss. No, uh, honestly, honest. dude, I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was gonna be bigger than the fear that was face down. So I thought he'd be swung into that initially, but that was a hundred off him so bad. Yeah. Dude, I really Maybe. thought he had that game. I'm not even gonna lie. It's completely yeah. horrid. That oh, that just... econ was probably a big hell. Mary hoping that he would negate so he can do the purgatory clear. Maybe. I don't even know, man. I'm taking a look at the chat here. Chat is even saying the misplay is kind of yeah, caught. They're, they're not feeling that econ play because it didn't really. Honestly, like I I don't really think it's really a misplay. Well, he didn't have game. He, he had some good resources. ID technically. He had a good ID because he knew he put pressures on now since he didn't decide to special summon the Madame Ver um, using Petra. So. All right, so taking a look here, looks like we're gonna kind of uh, get into X factors. Despite diffusion getting the win to bring it back up one one, taking a look back here at X factors, um, kind of highlighted it earlier here. Taking a look at their entire roster, um, their player record: Sitsui again being eighteen and ten, Piorin going uh, seventeen and eleven, um, Saku going thirteen and ten. Uh, currently in the players who is one and one right now, Bakari eleven and five. And then after that, everyone else having a pretty decent record here as well. Um, so essentially taking a look, the wins per matches are very good for a lot of these players here. Um, Tetsuya, Pure, Tetsuya going at least three per matches, essentially. Pure only going two. Everyone's essentially kind of floating around that two plus club, which is pretty, pretty good for a team, especially on their debut. So. Yeah, exactly. There is quite a good win ratio uh, from all of the players of the X-Factor versus indeed. And very nice results as well, looking at the the key players, uh, which are Tetsuya and Puri. And, and hey. now for Fusion. Again, another very impressive result here. I mean, Mod Kid killing it, seriously. Like, that win ratio plus the stats as well, 18 wins and 7 losses only. Which is another impressive result for a player, uh, mainly when we are talking about uh, uh, newcomer teams on Team Wars. Yeah, definitely. And now getting that. And back... I'd say yeah, yeah it's the game is opening. The win ratio. Win ratio is around Wait. two, average I'd say, pretty similar to X Factors in my opinion. Looking at it. Uh, um, so the, the game is back in the. What is it? Okay. He just started with double charge of the Light Brigade. Oof. That's quite a Getting start him. here. Yeah. yeah that is actually a big good start most of the time man. because you'll have a good graveyard being so. Two cards in the 30 card deck, let's just draw them. Yeah, no, man, that's how it always is. I mean, not starting out with grass last time, now he's. <laughs> Getting his two charges, like he's getting some pretty decent hit. What? Oh my goodness, Witchcrafter Mirror? I thought those. I saw a 30 card deck and I was like, oh, he's just playing some really thick, like, lover reduction black wings, but no, nah, he's playing some thick crafters. <laughs> that would be almost impossible to see black wings. That, that is a funny thought you have. Um, cool, have been. I mean, Witchcrafter, I will not even expect it. I thought maybe Chris Tron, but. That indeed is a big surprise. Oh my god. I've ever seen the balance witchcrafter. This is gonna be interesting. Oh wait, he's oh he's using balance, yeah. 
Uh, we're up to a very, very interesting game here if it's balance. Yes, no, it the is balance. The skill is balance. The skill is balance, yeah. Yeah, no, very, very interesting here. Very solid start coming from Saku also getting essentially two back rows set. Masterpiece in the graveyard and going to be able to recover at least that one unveiling in the graveyard. Unfortunately, not that many spells, but still, like, in not that bad a position. Luke Tyler in the chat saying best skill. <laughs> you know, Luke I mean, Tyler is the... Uh, I mean, he's right. Like, if, we, if we're taking the fact that there was the ban list hitting Witchcraft, it's a skill that uh, some people will start to use when it comes to balance. Like, balance has been used a lot with the recent decks and even meta decks. So... I guess I'm half surprised, half not surprised. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Mainly, I didn't. I don't think we've seen that much thirty cards deck using balance previously as well. Mainly meta. Yeah, no. Uh, I, I only just bring that up because Luke uh, Luke Tyler is a very big uh, balance enthusiast. Uh, we saw him just top the last <laughs> NTS, being the only player I believe playing crafters at that time, really. To uh, top it, he did relatively well also, and he was playing balance too. He even had a Neos Turbo engine in there, so it was pretty interesting. So maybe that'll become the new way to play it, but looks like right now Show and Nightmare still showing it's very viable. Ooh, cheeky, move. cheeky move, sending Ganny just to reverse. Oh, so he's gonna put them in Nerva out there. Mm. No. So now he does have some synchro fodder coming out here, but I mean, here, here she go. Yeah, One, he is forced two, to go three. for Black Rose. That's a good card to go for. Forcing Madame Vera to negate the Black Rose. He's going to chain Needle Bot so, Nest. Petronas so as well. He doesn't necessarily need to negate here because since he is playing the Needle Ceiling, and there is a Masterpiece in Graveyard. Essentially, as long as he mills at least one spell, he does have the ability to uh, really survive here. So he can just allow this to go through. Exactly, he can allow that. Plus, mainly if he gets like a Genny later on, plus uh, holidays in the graveyard, he can still bring back the Vera Witchcrafter. And in that mill. Uh, that two unveiling, obviously the masterpiece. Oh, Mira, yeah. Pittore. Oof, that's actually not a good pull. Two Storm as well. No Holiday. He can still be back. If he gets a Holiday, he can be fine, but it's not going to be easy. Genny using the effect of Holiday on the side of Noah, which is going to bring back Madame Bear. He decides to bring Edo. So he's gonna bring out Edel here because not only is Edel pretty Ooh. thick, but he's attempting to make a if, big push. If he has collaboration, that will be actually nasty. Collaboration and unveiling would be a very good play here, in my opinion, right now. Because that'll exactly. really allow him to push the lethal. So at the time he's going for Pitare. Pitare draws, discard. And he discards another unveiling. I say the another, but it's actually the only. Ooh, already going for masterpiece this time. Yeah, so he must be prompting battle phase. Um, no, actually no. He's not prompting battle phase here. So look at his yeah, opting, bring out the Genny. Yeah, exactly. So if he That's wants to nice. bring out the Genny, he probably wants to use that tribute fodder so he can't get out of Veer. Which would make sense. Yep, that's what he's wanted to do. That's a good play. Is there going to be Edel chaining as well? He could do so if he wants to get Madame Ver, for example. Yeah, both players have options here. It looks like he does opt to chain, so it is going to be an enchantment too. Opting to discard a storm. And a third chain. We're going to have to get Patronus. Patronus here. Getting that, uh... Getting that holiday back. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make use of that one holiday Very now that... That is actually going to be nasty. He can even bring the second Madame Ver back in the field as well if he wants to. Showing nightmares. Into the charge. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Okay. And yeah, yeah he, he does good he, saving it. He doesn't even need to send more. Very good choice for not just saving all of his his resources. 
Now Madam Veer's effect is going to activate to allow him to go ahead and boost. It looks like Veer is and going to gain to that effect also. It's going to be negated. Or no. Or no, we're in damage. I decided to now. go for the boost. So one, two. One, he is enough three. to defeat that Madam Veer. Okay, I'm about to say. So, collaboration being added back to his hand. Now he has a full three. Unveiling as well. Oh, I believe four. there's a holiday as well. I'm not sure. No. Oh, well, right. okay. Holiday I think on the. He did grab one back. And he grabbed it back with the Patronus. So it looks like he is going to use that holiday, um, the Genny to copy the holiday in the graveyard, bringing out that Veer once more. Using Patori's effect from the graveyard, going to banish, going for that draw discard. Right now, the mirror match itself is always very, and very. Uh... Pixels on the side of Hazy. Oh, she's. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Hazy can fix that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> This is like, um, you ever seen you know, Dragon Ball Super when, uh, like, uh, Goku and Jiren are fighting and they, like, were destroying everything around them? It's like that. Like, it's too, it's too strong. Oh, it's back, it's back. <laughs> Hazy Puck, Hazy Puck, he's oh, back. No. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I, I was I hate... thinking, like, that, that kind of thing so made me remember of, like, Sonic games where sometimes you're, like, abusing of glitches and there's, like, just a ton of pixels, just odd and all. Oh my, glad this streaming back. So, the game, always the game is actually spinning right now. And taking back some of the spells from the graveyard on the side of Saku. Yeah, and having Lila, though. <laughs> Alright, back from the Matrix, boys. <laughs> Lilo on board. <laughs> oh my god, again! <laughs> oh, face down, uh... Let's see, a face oh, down masterpiece so, again. So, he's a strong up Dark the the internet, I'm not even streaming, man. <laughs> 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 Pay for the internet. I got five on it. <laughs> I got five. I'm getting hot yet. I'm getting hot. Oh my god, I'm dying off. No. Not for real. Oh my god. Good luck to Hazy. Wait, oh, yo. Nah, he's gonna bring out the level Nerva three. coming out from the storm. Alright, yo. Oh, he's uh, going for a synchro this time. May he go for Michael, actually? Of course, Michael, bro. He, I mean, this is the second synchro. He's already went into black. Yeah, Rose. exactly. He went for black Rose. So, like, my thought of a good level seven synchro is or every or Michael Jordan, and no Arcanine magician. Arcanine Unbelievable. magician. Unbelievable. Yeah, no. Good old common, Arcanine though. magician. The most reliable card. I love Arcanine magician. Yeah, it's pretty. Cool. Even if his attack becomes bad, he destroys. Oh yeah, he's still strong when you got a Vier by him. Exactly. Not even that, but literally again, dude. Right, Master yeah. Piece is still That's in the graveyard. That's going to be the real good play. Chaining the Madame Veers just to destroy that Madame Veer. And I think that's going to be lethal? No. No, I'm Master Piece. Speaking quickly. Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, he has that a Master Piece in the graveyard that he can chain to bring at least one Genny or maybe any other uh, Witchcrafter. No need to bring out a Genny. He just going to go out of the if anything, I don't even know why he really gets two. guarded, bro. I think I would have just. Someone, someone's saying masterpiece. I, that's right. Yeah. He was. He has been messing around with those. Oh, he didn't use masterpiece. It's the battle phase. Oh no! Wait, no, he can't because. Uh, oh no. But I mean, he uses masterpiece. He's going to summon a witchcraft, but then he cannot change to. Oh. I don't know. Bring anything. Otherwise, Edel would be like the only card he could try to bring on. Going for Patronus. Patronus was just going to bring him a holiday. Okay. And that's going to be not taking oh, the game. Okay, he didn't have enough. Might not have had enough spells to search. Yeah. That's so quite an impressive target. beginning. Three oh, of the first. That. I mean, three duels and two were mirror match. Two of them were mirror match here, which is really, really intriguing. Yeah, no, man. So now I'm gonna take it up for Diffusion. Now winning, not the uh, the Saber Mirror match, but winning at least winning the Crafter Mirror match here to bring the Fusion up two to one here, more in their favor. So two very uh, 
extensive duels that definitely were nothing short of uh, what you would expect to see from uh, the top players in the league here. But now going on to highlight the rest of the diffusion here, we kind of highlighted a, a bit earlier today, so taking a look at there. Exactly, yeah. if we can take With a look back at Just yeah, standing yeah. tall amongst... You know, followed up by Naw with his 13 wins. He's yeah. popping off in the seven games played. Uh, Mudkey has that 4.50 uh, wins per minute, as well as Naw. And at only four. Um, he played only four games as well, which is really impressive. Yeah, no. Four All these players... Wins, that is just a massive win rate going on right there. Yeah, no. Um... I mean, this this line for this roster itself, I mean, it's nothing short of excellence, man. I mean, like you mentioned, Mudkey being uh, one of the biggest clappers, especially with Ritual Beast, Naw, and his brother Raw also doing some insane work this season. Uh, Drizzles, I mean, Drizzles not only within Team Wars been popping off, but even outside of that, within other community events like the Meta Weekly. Even Mythyard, man, Mythyard, despite only getting two plays, being six and two, that means he's going at least three wins per match, which is honestly pretty solid if you're doing those kind of numbers, man. Uh, Jano himself also going 12 and eight. I mean, three wins per match average. Like, everyone here, it's floating around. That. <laughs> Some tight, this is a Titan lineup right here. Yeah, no, literally everyone's just saying, uh, <laughs> I mean, if Except you're on Diffusion... Ricky, you know. No, Ricky now win. Ah, oh, sacred community. Imagine losing Ricky to keep... Everyone... Fix Shiranui! <sighs> Dude, all the thick decks are coming out today, bro. Oh my gosh. Thick Shira. Thick balance lollies. Dude, let's go. Alright, so Kazuki double back row set. Charge being activated. Wait, uh oh. Did you guys uh -oh. know? Uh oh. Oh no. Yes. No, we no, so cool. I'm gonna cast the game. I'm known so... as Lucky Luke in Duel Links when it comes to commentary, so I think it should be fine. Time to catch up whatever happened. So Akizin Zinski, and from what I see, it's actually surrounding me. 30 cards. Yeah, so... Ooh, la, la, senor so he's playing the counter traps as well. He has to, if he's playing the 30 card version. So he started with Gozuki, 2 back as well, turn up now. He's in charge of the light oh, brigade. No, well, three good cards to be in the back row, I wanna say. Lila able to pop off. Whoa, whoa, okay, offerings to the doom. That's a card I haven't seen in a while. He's able to also chain Needless Bug. It's still the main phase of No as well. I mean, very, very good. Taking a look at some of the mills coming from um, our Mayakashi player here. Actually, uh, that's, a, that's a super bad mill for the Shrouding player, come to think, on the side of Zalug. Only well, one tuner in the graveyard, and most of the other cards are spells and traps. So that's, that's actually exactly. terrible. Yeah, no, if we're taking a look here, it's very interesting, playing Ghost Meets Girls here. Uh, Ghost Meets Girl, on um, a shooting story, very interesting. Um, we're seeing a lot of text being drawn out here, from Offerings, Felista, Double Needle Nuss. So very curious to see how this is gonna work. I think, at least for me personally, this is the first time I've seen 30 card Shira. Um... And really, honestly, outside of the KC Grand Tournament really being used anywhere, essentially. I mean, in the past, I remember it was used a lot, but I do agree the surprise is with the current meta and how we play the decks, seeing a 30 cost running is something absolutely uncommon. And you can also see he's playing the spells, for example, Ghost Meets Girl as Shiranui's Story, which is a spell some people commented that. I do remember that it wasn't said that it's bad per se, which is pretty fair. I mean, it's a good card technically. Yeah, I know. So right and now, like one attack decides to destroy the Gozuki. He thinks it's fine. I do agree, and I started to realize that what can be nasty is if you let the monster on the field, the opponent, if he draws what he needs, level duplication or level augmentation, and that can actually turn bad. 
Yeah, no, it can be very, very interesting here. Right now, he will have a live synchro available to come on the board here, so he can make a level six at the upcoming turn. But goes into a solid, solid turn. Tier. Oh yeah. man, dude. That he is did. going to change everything. He doesn't even need to use Kazuki, he just needs. Oh yeah, now I was actually thinking about it. That's a good, good thing here. He needs to think if he wants to let Solitaire pass or negate the effect. He it's let it pass. Late. It's, it's too late. Anyway. Mine is not too late, but... Well, no, he, it wouldn't matter. It's, Solitaire's gonna go mm -hmm. through no matter what anyway. just going to the graveyard no matter what, and that's, I think that's the scary part. Yeah, no. The issue isn't even bringing out the extra tuner, but it's the fact that Solitaire's gonna come out. But bringing out the level 3, level so... Three. This is where it's going to get spicy here, because he will have a list of options in terms of the plays that he is going to be able to do here. Level 3? I'm trying to think why level 3... In 30 oh, cards... 30 card deck? It is common. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's very I common. mean, it will be common indeed, but my opinion is you do Solitaire, then you bring the level 3 instead of level 2, which is a bit weird. So my guess will be that he fears the Madame Ver, which will negate the effect of Shogun Saga. So this is why he's going for level 3. Well, you have to also remember that with the level 3, you can also tribute it to Tarkov to your Banish monsters. So essentially, if he does somehow get too off Banish and this play can't go through, he can essentially just recover it right back in the mm, Exact. Exactly. Yeah, I know. So level 3 just creates a lot more options for you, essentially. Especially in, in 30 cards, I mean... The opponent's essentially be able to do just about anything you want to. It looks like he is going to be able to do such. And level 8 is going to come out and pop off. Going to go ahead and banish another one of his tuners here. So like I just mentioned earlier. Now it decides to negate the attack with the situation. Alright, now level duplication show uh... Level Sarcophagus. Spirit Master? Spirit he Master. Has Spirit though. Master. He's... Otherwise, well, he can go for Solitaire actually. If he goes for Solitaire, it's going to be Sun Saga, which cleans the board. Um, didn't he already use Solitaire? I, I think it's once per turn for Solitaire. I think that's the case, yeah. Yeah, that's the case. Yeah, it is once so per he's, turn. I, he's going to go for no... Spirit Master, definitely. Yeah, no, there's no reason for him to use the Solitaire because it wouldn't get its effect off. Yeah. So, Spirit Master, yes. And if not, he's going to Mimos by sending a Samurai. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The good old like, Samurai. Okay, there it is. Card. I was like, taking, Some people taking still... sweet time. But... So, I yeah. will say this. If he did have that in hand, I mean, I would most likely opt to kind of want to use that first. Because he could have had the lethal, correct? Oh, no, there's a Masterpiece in the graveyard, graveyard of course. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. So I guess this isn't horrid, essentially. So banishing four cards, so he's gonna bring out a level four. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna see a uh, Shimana coming out right now in defense, of course. And he's gonna activate the Patronus to recover the unveiling he just banished. As well as the holiday, pretty set. And there's the Veer coming right back on board. Okay, so right now, Krim. Oh no! Uh, looks like we're back in the Matrix, boys. I didn't realize this. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> nah, jeez. You know, I'm just looking at the game. I'm like, we're in this intense moment, and I look over, and no, literally, it looks like, looks like we're drowning. Could you imagine if there was like, local, <laughs> if there was local duel links, and like, there's a rager. He's like, well, you know what? I'm upset. I'm losing. So you know, what? I'm gonna crash your game. <laughs> All right, team <laughs> dollars. <laughs> Even if I can't win, I'll make sure you can't see anything. <laughs> Very um, this is unfortunate situation here, but 
Yeah, no, he's in a pretty rough spot here because of the Sunshine right now. He is going to be able to tribute off that Edel here. He is going to be able to target one Spellcaster, which is going to be the Minerva. So right now, he's setting himself right back up for pretty clear lethal here. He's got so many options right now. I'm pretty sure he's just going to make uh, the Arcanite, I believe is the name of the same yeah, spell, right? Pop, pop. Oh, every. Oh, every single turn. Oh, she's big too. Oh, she's old. Oh, she's beefy, bro. Dude, every yeah, dude, every's in the gym right now, dude. She's dude, she's she's beefy yeah. right now. It's like you you don't see the results till go. now. I think the yeah. Three thousand boost. Four thousand boost. Four as well. <laughs> Revealing Mystic and Aris. What? Yeah. yeah. Mystic and Aris. We haven't seen this card on the side of now, so. That's actually a nice reveal. What a cheeky lad, no. I swear to God. Well, nice win, my friend. It's going to be 3-1 this time. Why? Well, he actually revealed it in the last game. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I guess I missed that mistake in hours before. Oh, shit. It, it was kind of subtle <laughs> when he did it. it. It was discreet, but it was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. or maybe we drowned it while it happened, you know, once in the moment. Yeah, yeah, we uh, could see it happen, but... <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, what if we talk about the progression uh, from both teams? Let's, let's see, first of all, I guess we're gonna start, yeah, exactly, with the entire roster. So, for both of the teams, they didn't really start at the same time. You're gonna have X-Factors who started at the quarterfinals, and the fusion starting from round one, making all the way to the grand finals. So all I can say is insane progression from both teams, and mainly the fusion in that case. And yeah. I don't know. I thought maybe of I don't know showing the reports as well, or maybe only commentating. Uh, I see. Okay, he's taking the game. All good. We're gonna continue with the second duel, which. I do know it's not going to be a repeat exactly. They're not doing any repeat, by the way, on the side of XF. No repeat, Nogaku. Oh, they said repeat. Whoa, there's yeah. a repeat. All right. Yeah, no, right, it's, a re right. it's a repeat, dude. Yeah, it's a repeat, man. Uh, <laughs> by the way, to our marvelous friend Hazy, do not worry. I saw the comment. It's all good. Yeah, no, it's all good. I said going for a repeat. Uh, that's honestly yeah. a huge price. Because the 30 card version Shroudy, I guess they have a pretty solid way to do the ODK or even claiming the Witchcraft of Field in a Black Wings way, if you know what I mean. That is going to be Ty, and that's actually a very interesting choice coming from XF. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly uh, what you mean by a Black Wing type way, but nonetheless, <laughs> I think, I think, I think their, ma their main way that they're. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, to what I meant by Black Wings is, you know, because I recently played the level reduction version for Black Wings, and when you play that version, there's like a way that you can actually deal easily with Bear, which is putting her in attack on Imaru and big attack, and generally you're good to do lethal. And Shiranui, it's not really doing that kind of move. Instead, it's going to be based on the card that you banished. You're going to look to destroy Madame Bear. And have pretty much a free field, having also the Sun Saga, maybe Shogun Saga as well, which for me would be the way for Shiranui and 30 Conservation specifically to win against Witchcrafter. That is how I see it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know, but maybe. But uh, <laughs> right, I, think, I think, I think, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think the main reason they're probably repeating is just because of the fact that uh, their second deck may not be. Uh, more well equipped to potentially take out a uh, craft. No, that can be stuff. another reason as well, which generally will be. I mean, I don't know. I mean, most of the players for me, they should have like a big reserve in terms of decks. And I do still think Zalu, as a player, surely has something behind the scenes, shall I say. So for me, doing a repeat can also be because they think it has a matchup. They think there's a way to defeat Witchcraft, which can be pretty cheeky. So all yeah. I can say is that we'll see. I, mean, I don't yeah, know if I... there's any experts as well in the chat knowing the 30 card version for Shiranui. Because there's also the impression that they're not playing the Contra Trap. 
I didn't see any counter trap yet. Uh, yeah, I don't. I've never seen Shirin really play a counter trap like that. But um, it, I think it's literally just the fact that he had the counter and it didn't work, so he went to defeat it again. But I mean, nonetheless, Edel's effect's gonna pop off here, bringing up the Veer and the Edel right now. So it looks like. Take a look here. Order he only has it. one spell. Oh. oh! Okay, that's what I'm like. Why is he putting these on the table? Whoa, like? okay. First off, he didn't even swing in. Yeah, but he's taking saying, a look. You know, he's saying. Yeah, there's not even like a Jenny in the grave. Dude, he must feel no delays, bro. Get the Showing... econ back. Alright, nice. busted. Call the phone. Oh, nice. Man. Semi-limited return. Okay, and he's getting the attacks too. No. Thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. No, it's on a tear right now. They limited holiday. They limited charge, but they didn't touch the econ. I know, right? That is a guns low moment right here. Oh econ my. as well. Wow. Dude, Noslet, slow down there, buckaroo. And that was of the stars. Right that was yeah, that was ridiculous. Dude, nah popping off with these crafters right now, dude. Where are the sack wings at? We need them. Exactly. I'm surprised that we haven't seen it. Yet. Yeah, we don't insane. want to let these it's witch crafters get out of control. Yeah, nah, this is insane, man. Dude, literally, Nah by himself has almost carried diffusion to the halfway point, and there's still so much more to go, man. Exactly, and with Witchcrafter thinking, I believe it's four wins with Witchcrafter. Because the mm -hmm. first duel he lost, but then he took the four wins with Witchcrafter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. go back to, to the uh, so graphic. So, we're back with the graphics, yeah. Go ahead, please, Cosmic. Yeah, the, the graphic on screen here, um, looking at Diffusion's road here, Diffusion having to tackle a pretty hefty amount of teams, one more than X Factors, as you mentioned previously going against Divine, who made their first playoff season appearance and able to well against them, as well as Duel Links Taiwan taking them down. Uh, Neo, I mean, a pretty well-known strong team um, taking them down back in these semis and then making another way here. Well, X Factors had it pretty tough starting out against Switcheroo and then going to the previous season champions, Destiny Draw. So the fact that they were able to both defeat such great teams showing that they uh, both clearly uh, want this man. Uh, Diffusion winning 10 to 6, uh, beating Duelings Taiwan 10 to 5, and going 10 to 7 versus Neo. And it's very important to note that they did win with no less than, uh, with no more than 7 wins going against them. While with X Factors, they were going against 8 and 9. So Diffusion having a bit of edge in these games, but nonetheless, man, still pretty crazy. But looks like we're finally getting into the next duel here. And there it is, the Sack Wings are finally on board. And, um, okay, so the Kaiba, so we're gonna have the Black Wings this time. And indeed, Black Wings getting turn two. And yeah. what I'm surprised is mainly the peak performance because I think I'm gonna have people hating me, but I don't care. If he played Just level say. reduction, if he played level reduction, I do have a feeling he called maybe counter over the Witchcrafter. There is a way while using level reduction where you can easily make a. Uh, Anonymaru using the T-Synchro, which can actually make lethal. And turn two. I've actually done this multiple times, so... This time, instead, he's playing peak performance, which is going to be quite different. It also depends on his extra deck, so... Alright, so... so three cards in hand. There's a masterpiece in the graveyard, and also a Genie. So right now, Nas Graveyard is looking relatively light. Um, Samoon gonna come out turn Samoon. two, coming out from Pioran. But I think the reason we're gonna potentially see revealed as to why he may be playing peak performance currently is strictly the fact that he will have the capability, or they typically tend to run Necro Valley, which although may not be the strongest thing considering how they do typically tend to run Lila. Um, within the Witchcrafter build, and we have seen it revealed as well as Charge. But Necro Valley can at least slow things down for about a turn or so, depending yeah, on the Yeah, actually, it, it's going to counter a lot Witchcrafter. Like, if Witchcrafter has no Galaxy Cyclone, I mean, no, actually, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter. 
But yeah, Necro Valley is really going to be the start to Witchcraft her. How do you feel on this particular matchup, Dark? What's your opinion on it? So, with the... He's not using the reduction version, so he doesn't have the multiple pops, but I, I still think uh, Close is a threat. Yeah, no, now, Yeah, maybe... ...ways to bait out the Vier, like, uh, reducing it with the Gale, uh, just trying to destroy it or bait so you can set up a Rakiri. We died. Oh, we died? We're oh, like no. we're legit, we're legit offline. Like we're dead. Oh, oh no, we're, we're back. Died. Let's go. All right, I'm, seeing, I'm, I'm seeing like a bit of on and off on my side too, because I, I have the actual stream on too. <laughs> Yo, oh, Hazy wow. sending us to Code Lyoko. <laughs> yeah, here's Code Lyoko. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we gotta go get Santa. Wow. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, no. He, he, he told me that he has like the bitrate thing. Yeah, I think maybe 2000 bitrate should be better, but we'll see. Okay, he's at 2000 this time. What, hopefully, what, it's going to be good. Doing, and man? hopefully, my advice is good as well. So, if he, if Hazy has an issue, guys, if I don't see anybody blaming Disturbia, I'm going to be mad. But let's get to the <laughs> game, please, everybody. So, he went for the bait with the bitrate. <laughs> Beautiful bait. Beautiful bait. So I'm sure what he has done is like targeting the I and my main phase to go to the battle phase on the side of Peterney. So obviously now it's going to be like, well, that's what you think, but I'm going to special summon another thing. And then guy is going to be like, well, I actually have to use the right curious effect. Used it. Boom, bringing another monster. The main issue though is going to be that if he brings Madame there, that's where things can change. So and if he has, no, he cannot. I so was thinking this, too hard about the This is a scary reduction. situation right here. Veer's not bad at all because literally Pixie. And then Orochi put this in attack. Yeah, the Orochi uh, is the yeah, scary Orochi part of put in attack. Yeah, pop yeah, that bad boy. Turn into uh, a little. It's going to be so nice. Video attack. It's over. He, you, you can't negate this, essentially. He can. Well, even I if he think does, think about it. You just it's swing. It's 100% over. Let me just see the field. You got I'm Masterpiece, yeah, you can ban us and get out another Genie potentially, but yeah, is it really going to be enough? Because you, you have a whole piercing right here, dude. Yeah, this time with Bora. Ah, uh, that's... Yeah, that's I rough. guess that's the matchup in this time. Like, yeah, it's a, so... in, in terms of matchup, Master... No, sorry, no, I will have saved Master because I'm stupid. Witchcrafter usually starts to lose against Black Wings. But I mean, if Witchcrafter has the field, Witchcrafter wins. So this time, Blackwing's got the field. Yeah, no, like, if we, if we take a look here, this is probably, I think, the one time where we saw that Naw essentially... Well, actually, the second time, technically, that Naw really didn't open a semi-ideal hand. Like, what we saw from him previously, like, Naw essentially was either opening up some form of charge or something else just a little bit stronger. But he didn't get it this time. And you know what? Yeah. That's the break the X-Factors needed, so good for them. Now they're back on board 2-4, to four, and hopefully things can start swinging up to their favor. So and they're asking for a replay. There's one that is asking for the replay, but I don't know how much we <laughs> missed, but I think not. Hazy is going to tell us that. Hazy is it's going not, to tell us. It's not worth. Just know he won. Hoggers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be up to him. I cannot say much. I do like to see sometimes replays. It's going to be a dumb reason, but sometimes it's just to explain some quick strats, why this is good, why this is bad, sometimes like quick words. I do I do like that. Just to like explain why is this a good play and why not, but we'll see. I guess we're gonna move, yeah, exactly. He said it. Nice. So sadly we'll have to move on. And yet again apologies for what happened. We gotta move on. <laughs> yeah. But rest assured, if you like the commentary we're doing right now, I'm very thankful for that. I am really serious. I really appreciate if you like my commentary because I, for me, my commentary is garbage, but I always make my best to not make it that garbage. But it is still garbage. The lie detector test determined so, that was a lie. <laughs> Your commentary yeah, is awesome, bro. Exactly. Let's go, let's go for some match reports, exactly. So we're going to take over... The semi-final that X Factor had previously against Destiny Draw, which is obviously a very well-known team. We know what Destiny Draw is, and it's a pretty pretty insane team. 
And that's honestly incredible to have X Factors defeating the Sunny Draw. Um, in terms of deck, so not going to like this is actually my first analysis per se. Yeah, pretty much using the common meta, Dark Magician, Witchcrafter, Shiranui, Hero, Element Saber. These are pretty much the decks we see a lot. There was also some Invoke Neos on the side of X Factors, just for some variation. And also another impressive thing we can see from the match reports is going to be Tetsuya with Dark Magician and Beatdown, which I want to say it is not a skill you usually use for Dark Magician. And I gotta say, actually getting three wins with this version is quite impressive. Yeah, no, it's not uncommon. Um, I mean, taking a look at this match report here, very interesting. Um, we got Tetsuya, like you mentioned, popping off with Dark Magician, which really can be a streak-heavy deck, and especially in the beginning of Team Wars, that's tend to kind of uh, what it was back then. Invoke Neos becoming a bit more popular, being used from Sal. Um, Puron using a Show of Nightmares, Witchcrafters, getting time on the wins <laughs> versus Shira Nui even at one point. But nonetheless, taking a look at this report as a whole, the fact that the results were in favor of Axe Factors beating the previous uh, Team Wars undefeated season champions at that Destiny draw, I mean, man, dude, it's, it, it, this is just something that's just poetry in motion. It's insane. You just love to see uh, the new guys coming and really doing the work. So. Exactly. Always... Always showing that some fresh teams or fresh players can actually be good, so big off to X Factors for this move, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I guess let's move on to the next match. Yes, exactly, they're going and we're gonna have Ro against Peterin. So this time we have the brother playing. Let's see how Ro is going to do. Also, yeah. one fun secret for everybody. You know that there's no and Ra who are brothers, but did you know that they have a third brother named Paul? Fact. Paul. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see who gets the first turn. It's going to be Ra getting the first turn. Molahu two back row. He's good. If he has an element saber, he's good. I see uh, Shao's in the chat said Raw and Nas nah solo. It's like uh, Jeff and Matt Hardy in WWE, bro. Cosmic <laughs> Cyclone. <laughs> Targeting the Floodgate. That's a very big hit considering how Floodgate really is the card that tends to uh, really, uh, I would say, screw over a lot of um, Black Doom players to really slow them down considering how it stops them in one of their searches, etc. So right now, Black, uh, where when it being activated, it looks like... Uh, our Blackwing player is attempting to double whirlwind. Plays. It's going down. It's going in. Now is that back row something to disrupt? Chris. Who... Oh, he had an element saber. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that changes everything. That normal summon here just for nothing. He has no more. Well, maybe he has a Black Wings actually. He may have one. Or otherwise, it's going to be the counter trap. One of the two. Though, all here is like, I'm fina fine, my friend. I just need to destroy you. You go to the graveyard. You're not going to be special summon again. Because there's actually only one card that can... No, I don't think it's only one card from the Black Wings archetype. If we're talking about level 4 or lower. I've seen some people playing the Tornado to resurrect the Tuner, actually. What? Uh, that's actually bad. If he draws a monster, that's lethal. That's the end. Uh, no, he does no, not. not. I, mean, I, I feel like but he's still finna fine. Macro. He's still finna fine. Has three back row. He's showing with his sleaze and mat that he's not a champ for nothing. <laughs> no, Piotrin really needs a good, like, I mean, at least a monster in order to get something, even though it's going to be very hard. Uh, Right. Going for the Cosmic Cyclone oh for the last chance. He's starting into the last phase down card. Floodgate number two, question mark? Or Canadia, one of the two cards. It's really, really risky for Black Wings. That was actually a good choice on the Defusion team to actually take Element Saber, which is based on a lot of back row. Also, Gookie will have been good, but I mean, it's Gookie, you know. Dude, Godfather with the... 
bot aim, which I do think is going to target one of the Black Whirlwind. Probably the field spell. Because he can doing. skip he can skip all of the field spell, which is actually meaningless. Because if he has like a bad monster, he's not really going to search that much. Well, it just depends really. Um what is Yeah, because the thing is here. like if he pops the field, he's still going to be able to search. If he has Chris, he searches everything. Bora searches a lot of things. So if you let two whirlwinds, you're going to let the guy search for two cards, which can mean you search for enough to get maybe a monster, then a tuner, to then do a synchro. That can actually be bad. Yeah, so... He's so... Just pop the whirlwind. That's not a bad idea, as the people say, to pop the field. But I mean, you will be based to have a good back row, and if it's not... And no monster, what? Nah, no, he's just doing that just Maybe he has a... He had a break, in my opinion, I guess, because that... Maybe means he had the monster, but it was like Simoon, for example. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I mean, he was say thinking it. hard. Oh, he was thinking yeah. hard on that double whirlwind play. I feel like so maybe yeah, maybe that was the decision to play the Chris. Yeah, I mean we shouldn't be too surprised considering the fact that he did lose to the counter deck. Um, it's just really unfortunate considering how you really need to uh, essentially open up with multiple Cosmic Cyclones or Lance to really fight through the back row if you are playing the peak performance version. But nonetheless, yeah. Malehu is displaying its uh, dominance with the 1900 beatdown. <laughs> exactly. Well, my gosh, let's talk a bit about the key players from Diffusion as we have Ro uh, just joining the table. So. Everybody knows we've seen the stats recently from Modke with an impressive 18-7 and also having a performance of 10-1 in one of the, I think it was not like in the playoff matches. That was actually before the playoffs, if I remember correctly, uh, the performance from Modke, which is pretty impressive, but also very good performance from Raw, sorry, having 14 wins, 9 loss. His best performance is 5 wins, 2 loss, which is actually a good stat. If someone tells me 5 wins is bad, I'm going to kick his ass. Trust me, having 4 wins <laughs> is not impressive. And you can trust me and mark my words. And what else can I bring? Well, power ranking for both of the players. Mudke actually 27th. I mean, he's still impressive to have done 10 1, so for me, it will be number 1 KW. 49th for Raw. But yes, yeah, still very, very good uh, placements. Uh, if we're thinking of the player's ranking. Must use deck of mod cable will be Ritual Beast and Element Sabers on the side of Raw. Alright, perfect. I think everything was timed, or so I'm hoping. Yeah, and uh, you did a, a clean speed run through all that, man. No, that <laughs> <solid>. <laughs> I'm glad I've been sick. I've been told oh, that yeah. I've done a good speed run, that's an honor. <laughs> Well, I guess let's run because Hazy is showing everything. People will scold me, but I'll try to do my best. So, Spell Specialist on the Witchcraft and Spell Specialist. All right. Understandable with the new ban list, actually. Going for a ninth phase on turn two. Fusion Reserve searching for a laser on the side of Raw. I don't know how Piotrin is actually going to be dealing against this kind of field. The biggest issue is going to be the Cossidus because it might be summoned. Uh, if we see I'm Cossidus. So, Searching I'm, for those toggles right now. Yeah, nah, he was looking for for delay here. Mm. First off, let's appreciate the prismatic fusion reserve. This actually looks pretty good. I'm not saying I'm gonna invest in it, but I mean, I'm pretty good at <laughs> that one. Actually, I do like the prismatic because it's not like making the arch just bad, and it's it's making it so clean, actually. Good Compliment. prismatic. If you have it, you can feel actually happy. Going for invocation this time. Receiving the forbidden, forbidden lines. lines. Let's see if it's actually going to pay off. Pokemon. And no, it does <laughs> pay off indeed. No more a Laster in hand because otherwise that will have been a bad thing. Rao is still going to attack with 200 happily. Well, not really happy because his attack got reduced, but it's still 200 damage. Yeah, no, he posted. Just think that it was a shadow game attack that he has received. That's all. Like, that was an attack from Yami Morik, it's not Yami Yugi. I mean, he still would only take like 200 more. True. <laughs> <laughs> damage. Oh no, a thick 400. Right. Going for Shmira, discarding unveiling, special summoning Pitre, the amazing painter. <laughs> oh, wait, is she painter? <laughs> I, I mean, her name is in Italian, which means painter. Plus, oh. you can see she has like 
globes. Uh, no, they're not globes. They're, I think, bogals Balls. of like uh, paint of different colors. Man, I really need to to get a better vocabulary in English. I do apologize for that. I'm terrible. Wow. No, She's not a weather painter though. And Wower is actually right. <laughs> no, I think Godfather is actually right. I think he knows what it is. So, the peach tree from the graveyard has a card, discards holidays, and bless you, actually, Cosmic. I think that's so, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Shmita, which is going to use her effect. Masterpiece is the top deck card that got sent in the graveyard. Looking good so far for Pyrodin. Not a bad feel at all. Yeah. Taking no. the damage here, he's not going to use any back row. Just taking the attack for the sake of it. No, we got back his holiday. And yeah, epic. Uh, Alistair got hit by a lance. Actually, not lancer. It's it was by a, a forbidden lance. Yep, you're right. It's a lance. Yeah, I. I hate when people speak about Lance and Lancia. It's why were these two cards released and just be good stat balls? Like it's so similar, but one card changes everything, and you just like like add one syllable. It's so funny. Incredible. I think it was, just, it was just a slow day at Konami, so they didn't know what to really do here. So <laughs> they were just like, let's kind of pick Maybe. something. I mean, but, sometimes uh... Konami is cheeky when it comes to boxes. I yeah. mean, they they, re they released two of my favorite boxes: Primal Burst and Master of Ninjas. Just saying. You... Alright. <laughs> He's just gonna pop off here. Alright, going for the invocation. So the good thing is that he has a laser. He didn't use the palace as well. To draw well, he... for the ones he wants, so... No, he did it on turn 4. He already had the water. Turn or turn 3. Game. Turn 3. Turn 3 to search the water. Oh, just let me see that. Yeah. yeah. That's how we tried to go Cassidus, and then after that, my boy, we got hit with that lance yeah, one time. Yeah, you're actually right. My apologies. Exactly. He searched for Nalu uh, with the palace on turn 3, so he's not going to be able to attack. But he has the Cassidus. Yeah. We know of his second nickname. I don't need to say it, but he has a good defense. <laughs> he has a good defense. Yeah, no. Here we go. Taking a slow approach here. So this time Bro has the pretty dirty back row. Shmeda is going to try everything, sacrificing herself to summon Madame very in defense. Yeah, no, very, very good here. Floodgate gonna come out, however. Ish. Well, that had to be happening. Is she still fine? Yes. Summon yeah. a Witchcrafter. Oh, so tribute for Adam. Ooh, Tribute Summon. That is a good choice. I love that Tribute Summon. That is a sweet Tribute Summon. Saying the Madame Verity to at least Special Summon Another again. Oh, Floodgate. Oh, no. Oh, Floodgate. Yes, can you do something to Adele? Well, no. But, yeah, I don't know. He decided to just take the Floodgate to, to her face. I thought Adele was going to chain. He can, but I believe he did reveal he has a holiday in hand, so he can, yeah, he has a holiday, he can just recover the veer. So, that's actually very good for him, because he essentially was able to fight through two back row like that, so the question is, is there a third Flood one time? Mm. Floodgate yo, number three? Yo, Floodgate number Actually, three, dude. But, like, Edel? Edel is a card that has two quick effects like Madame Ver, doesn't she? Yeah. Like, you can tribute Edel to special summon Madame Ver from the graveyard, or is it just... And normal activation. No, you're correct. You can discard one spell and special summon one Witchcrafter monster from your hand, except Witchcrafter Edel, and then you can distribute this card, then target one spell ca spellcaster type monster in your graveyard, except Witchcrafter Edel, special summon it. it does yeah, actually, effect. what I was talking about is if you read correctly, there is the notion of quick effect applied to the first effect. And my question was that the quick effect is not applied as well for the second effect, so no, that is my guess. Is a, uh, only one is a quick that's why Edel is actually phased on. Because if that was a quick effect, like Edel will be will be just insane. Will be played by three, no doubt. Well, yeah. so, I mean he will break maybe having three Adele, but insane card, that is what Edel will be. Negating uh, Econ. 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 Oh, Raw just sewing back 
the, the suffering, the diffusion God from the these ecos happened. from Taku, he's showing that they're also having the eco. Look at that. This is a very nasty move, taking over the Madame Vera as well. For the sake of it, it's a light monster. If we had the light invoked, which I'll need to remember, I believe it's Mechaba as well from the archetype of invoked. That will have a nasty fusion. Invocating. Yeah. Going for the invocation. And using the Shvita from his opponent to do Progatra. Great choice, obviously. My lordy. Alright, put Veer in attack one time. Oh, he did it. Oh, oh it's going down. It's about that... to go down. <laughs> I'm actually intrigued. He, he put Cossidus in attack. Yeah, he has to because, yeah. um, what's it called, um, the face-up monsters were still negated, so... Like, you can click on Cassidus and see, like, its effects are negated, so he has to. Uh-huh. Yeah, so my man's like, if I'm gonna poke, I'm gonna do it. Master right, so... Gonna the masterpiece is gonna... I think he has three for the Tori. So he's gonna do okay, two guys. for the... Oh, oh, that's right, he has the one for the Guinea, possibly, too. Yeah. Yeah, Jenny from the block is coming out hot right now. Jenny so. from the block. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now we just need to see the wall of disruption one time. All right, That's what's there... remaining. Look, I've seen Wad in a lot of Oh god, Veer's yeah, back. She's back. On the police. And yeah. Well, she's back. Negate. But it's another. It's another one. So he will be big enough to start clearing some things out, which is pretty sick. But I mean, I'm wondering this set, it could be another masterpiece or a Patronus or just another spell, maybe. But I, I mean, think he's really debating yeah, true. on it. If he had, actually, if he had Patronus, that would have been very nice for him because he knows that Progatra wouldn't be able to. Enemy control. Econ! Tributing! Edel! Holy. Ooh, that is actually some... The econs. These econs. Oh, that is actually really nasty. <laughs> that is actually really nasty and I love what I see. Holy... I hope... Yeah, he's forced to do the end phase. Yeah, no. I think my man was thinking that that was gonna be a, uh... A, what's it called? A Patronus or a, another masterpiece, potentially. He was like, we don't care about that, but econ... Ooh. We, we care about that. <laughs> He's like, okay, now, now you're doing a little too much, buddy. Slow down there, fucker. He's going defense this time. Yeah, no, See, no this, reason. This I think he's going to stall for a bit and just to get the spells back to the hand to then be like, hey, my man, I'm flexing. I can discard the scars to negate your effects. What are you going to do? Your Cossidus is nothing as well as Purgatory. So that's pretty much what he is going to do. I mean, on the side of Peter Nim. I guess what, what you do uh, now. Funny. This is this is what I kind of hate about this deck. It's like okay, you, you have to overextend to make that big play, and now they're back and replenish fully. I mean, you, you know what? Two beers on the field. Yeah, no, Yo, I'm, I'm going to I'm going directly to Konami and nerfing this deck myself. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> witchcrafter, witchcrafter. If I see this deck killed. I am myself going to go to Japan or even Europe. I don't know. Just go to one of the buildings of Konami to tell them why the fuck have you released this archetype? And right, then exactly. It is a counter to Element Saber. Let them be alive, my friend. Dark because clearly you're, you're making Element Saber meta for almost a year, which is, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So. Mm -hmm. Witchcrafter, I don't think it's really going to get a bigger nerf. Like, we know we've discussed a lot with the holidays being by three, some limited to three, but I still think Witchcrafter, you can see it has a lot of potential. I think a lot of people were like salty because obviously you cannot really use Wild Engine of Lightsworn, but is it really that bad? I think not. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the madness I'm hearing too is just about people just investing money. Yeah, who 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 enjoys getting seeing their cards get nerfed and early at that? Hey, kind of a funny story. Uh, one of my clanmates. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna call him out on stream. Uh, he was some waiting. Guy. To, <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, some guy. Like, who so happened to know was trying to invest on a uh, crafter, and he literally waited so long to get it. He bought the deck, <laughs> and after four days of gameplay, Kudami <laughs> was like holiday to three. 
Call of Duty 3. So literally like Thank two you for years. playing Duel Links. <laughs> Dude, I just wasted like $300 to get this stupid deck. Thank you for playing Duel Links. I was, oh. Dang, I was like, oh, that yeah, sucks. I feel that. Yeah, but you know me, the boy who doesn't have two Gennys, so I was like, oops, because I have to play Sabres again. Oh well. <laughs> I don't care, bro. But... Looks like he is going to swing here, looking to use the effect of Veer to get that big boy boost to get rid of the Cassitis. Fusion Reserve, we know there is the Alistair's in hand, but I don't think he's going to waste him here to protect. Revealing the second Econ in hand. Andy lets it go through. Oh, the double attack. Oh, wait, yo, Econ take. Oh, good night. True. Good point. Oh, my oh, God. No. Man. Crap, dude, Econ steals. So, <laughs> so was, it, was Holiday supposed to be limited to two? <laughs> Wrong number. Oh my goodness, man. That is. Well, games has Econ won today. <laughs> dude, cra crafters, quote unquote, won. Econ won these games. I don't know what it is. It's, an, it's not a yeah, crafter deck, it's the econ deck. So far. That's impressive, dude. Look, well, I guess um, we can actually talk this um, about the key players of X Factors this time. We have presented for on the side of Diffusion, but why not X Factors this time? Uh, if anybody wants to speak, you two want I to? I got it, bro. Uh, you got it, Dark. I just got to spot you. All right, it's a Dark so, turn. Key players. All right, X Factors. So we got Tetsuya. Just been popping off this season. He actually has a 24 and 13 record. He, his best performance was a 5 0 streak, just popping off on the competition. So his streak rate right now currently is 75%, with his most used decks being East Sabres and Dark Magician. It looks like he got his, his greater amount of the, the record, that record with East Sabres at 12 and 5. Whereas his, uh, his Dark Magician record was just 12 and 7. Amazing. So, sitting at the power rankings currently in 6th place, which is amazing. I, I would say that's out of all the great players that we've seen in this league, that a 6th place is definitely something to be proud of. With backing up on uh, the follow up player here, Pioran. Sorry, Pier Is it Pioran? Uh, <laughs> Peter Dean. You're guessing Peter Dean. Okay, there it's... we go. Peter Dean. This yeah. is all a yellow, so, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So 13 7 record with the uh, best performance being 7 and 2. But he's been clapping with Black Wings. Which is known kind of for his impressive. Black play. I mean, just and to add a bit more. Okay, he's he's showing the duels. So if you want to comment the duels, we can go for that. Maybe comment about Peter in after. But it's actually impressive to have a good streak with Black Wings in general. It's pretty impressive, mainly because the meta right now is a bit tougher to get a good streak with Black Wings because of all the back row. Right. I that was actually uh, my Witchcrafters, point. yeah, Witchcrafters. I think Witchcrafters has been inspiring a lot of the heavier back row because that's like the easiest way to deal with them. Ooh, Black Wings have a reduction from raw. All well, right. See this deck in action and Spider one coming in part. with a raid of five. Let's go, Spider. Thank Dude, you for that. I thank you for much by the raid. Dude, this grass is so thick, bro. Dude, that was actually yeah. very nasty. Yeah, very nasty one. So let me see for the cause. There's two Genia <sighs> masterpiece. I'm going to count the spells as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more, and he can use the effect of Genia just to special summon Madame Ver if he wants. Risky moves generally. You don't even need to special summon Madame Ver that way, but it's possible if you want to. Generally, what you would prefer is like to discard the useless spell, so you can go for just a Gany from the deck. Though there's actually two Gany already, so I don't think it's the best one. He's going to instead go for three banishing spells, then summon Peter from the deck, using the effect of Masterpiece. So, right now, Peter using the effect, discarding, collaboration. I believe he's going to special summon Madame Ver. It's actually a bit tough. The best one will be Edel, because that will avoid him to to get the Counter Trap. The Counter Trap is what will be bad for him. Oh. So Edel is the card that I would like to... I mean, I would like to. Sorry. That should be good to see in that situation. Um, Potentially. It really depends on how our Crafter player currently is reading this back row here. We know that in the level reduction, or within Black Wings, they can really play 
essentially about two to three things really as their back row. We've seen Cosmic Cyclone and Level Reduction, and we tend to typically see Lance. We have not seen a close really revealed this yet, but we've even seen cards like Offerings being used as of late, um, primarily in the side deck format, but it's been becoming a lot more popular. And with all the spikes we're seeing within currently in the meta right now, or at least from today's game, I would not be surprised if someone were to break that out. So it does make sense he is going to go a little bit more on the defensive side, bringing out the Veer here. And he can make the chill a bit more since he does have that masterpiece in Grave and Show of Nightmares will be lit or live in Incinda. It looks like he brings out the Raiden, gonna mill two cards, another charge and an unveiling, gonna copy the Getty here, looking to bring out the Victory. So it looks like my man's going for that clean synchro one time. Let's go. Here we go. Alright, bring out Mike. He needs to not activate any of it, even if it's Lance or anything. Yeah, exactly. Going for every perfect feel, he just needs to attack. He's lit. The man is going to be alive. Just needs to attack. The man is fine. Like, it's really good here for him because one, every is going to be a great recovery. Two, Veer is going to give him the boost. Masterpiece still in the graveyard. Veer went through successfully, so he's able to get an even better read on what that back row truly is. Every with Veer is so oppressive. Yeah, exactly. It's like whatever you manage to deal with the deal with the uh the air, every will just banish it next turn, non-targeting. Yeah, no, dude. You, you ever played The Last of Us? I have not. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I was gonna say for anyone, I feel I feel like this is like uh, when you go into a room and you have no ammo and you would just sit and have like two bottles. <laughs> that's oh, all you man. gotta work with. You gotta just, you know, that's how. <laughs> you legit just have to throw the bottles, and you're like, "All right, I hope this is enough." All right. Yeah, no early game. Yeah, early game. Veer is definitely like an uphill battle. Raw's in like a really weird spot right now, man. See what he will need. No, actually, right. so here we go. Well, issue this or is not, a... he has level reduction. So the good thing is, if he knows how to bait, to just try to destroy Madame Veer. He can have a free field, having an Emeru doing the lethal. So he has Gale, which I know he's going to reduce by half one of the attacks. So he can actually go for every instead of Madame Ver because he knows that he's going to actually go to pop Madame Ver instead. So exactly, he goes for every in that situation. And if he has any other Black Wings he can maybe go for, we'll see. All I'm going to think is that he's going to go for Raikiri. But it depends yeah. on his hands as well, which is quite an issue. Yeah, no. Right now here, this is gonna be the opportunity for us to really see like the uh how strong honestly, it's going to be. Honestly how strong not only the deck is, but how skilled Raw is with it, just to see how well he can potentially start popping off. Right, he goes for the right carry indeed. Is there any other pepperoni from his hand? Any other black wings? Is my question. Going for level reduction. No, okay. What do you talk, my friend? Let's see. Ooh, oh, Harmaton reducing by two. I don't know if he has any other. So no. What's good is he can do Armaton, target the Raikiri, get more level if he wants to. He decided no. So All right. The, you'll see what he does here. So he, this is a very good play from here, actually, right now. This is a very solid play. So he's going to get off the pops here from the Raikiri. And is also going to be able so to now synchro. To. So now we can see a Hawk Joe revival. And then bring back the Raikiri again. Exactly. It's actually not going to be lethal, though, because what will happen is there's a masterpiece that is actually in the graveyard. Gotta love that card. <laughs> <laughs> I feel exactly. like every masterpiece, every time. the matter is fine. He just brings one mob, and the question is, how many spells will he bring? He's going for the masterpiece, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has nine spells in the graveyard. He's going to go for the Madame Ver, which is why he has let the Madame Ver die. What a He's chick alive. Look He's at that. Going for Madame Ver, guys. No, well, Madame Ver. 
Let's pronounce it in Let's French. Go I'm sorry. Yeah, Schmetter beard. Oh, I should sure have asked how to pronounce it. Oh. <laughs> I, I think it's Schmetter? Yeah. Well, Schmitter. Anchor has the pronunciation. Anchor has the, the German pronunciation, so I'll have to ask him. I chan as well, I believe. Yeah, I mean, well, anyway, like... when, when it first came out, I called her Schmietta or, or, or Bo <laughs> Bobby Schmierta. Yeah, Bobby Schmierta. <laughs> when did you get that card about a week ago? Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, no. no I thought not he every... go for it. I, I thought he, he didn't had have a Samoon in the grave. Nope, I like, thought he... How should I say that? If oh, he... the six, the six. Well, the oh, right I think is a tuner. So he can he just... fuse them together. He maybe has the counter trap actually. It's maybe not a lance. Let's see. I don't know. I'm, oh, I'm very curious of the back row actually. We'll have to check about that. So the effect of every is targeting. Oh, oh no, it's it happened. Yeah, so oh my God. I thought I thought that there was maybe one way that he could maybe try to deal with him, but it was complicated. <laughs> Counter Trap is what will have saved him. Another thought that I had is he could have gotten the level 8, which is actually pinning an attack but I'm there, and you just attack but I'm there, she's in the grave. But yeah, <laughs> in terms of field, let's be honest, pitted in wins. But yeah, honestly, Lover Reduction, I've trash talked him previously, but please, I'm sorry for that, guys. Because I do love now the level reduction, as we can see here. No, he really hadn't got the good... I mean, he didn't have the good hand because of having Harmatan and also having Orochi, which are level 2, level 1, which doesn't even let you search for most of the uh, Blackwing cards, sadly. This time, it's going to be the win for Pyronin. No, Pyronin. Yeah. Like, yeah, I no. feel like with the... The mountain version, like I feel like I open powerful a lot. Where this version, sometimes you, the combos just don't come together. I think but, that for this you know, version, I, I think it's just more about risk versus payoff. Yeah, I think that with the level reduction version, it really allows you to uh, play through back row really, really strong. Mm -hmm. But the issue is, honestly, masterpiece has just gone up so much in value against black wings as a whole. That it really makes it a bit more difficult for them. Um, he's not in today's match, but uh, Miss Tilton, I remember when he went eight and zero um, playing uh, Witchcrafters. He came and gave an interview, kind of putting on some details on really the deck and really displaying the value of Crafters like cards such as Masterpiece and the matchup itself. And I think that X Factors are displaying greatly, just really uh, how the matchup really can be now, how it's not too bad, unfortunate, um, as it was mm -hmm. previously. So every game I've seen Witchcraft to survive a black wing push, there's always a masterpiece involved. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Exactly. So we've talked a bit of the key players of diffusion, but just for the reminder you can see their statistics. One little point I would like to bring is that Ritual Beast is tier three currently, still tier three and still a good deck. And there are two versions you can play, which are Shadow Game or even See You Later. And another deck that is being used a lot is obviously going to be Element Sabers. Um, also, just noticing that Mod K actually got two previous awards. Um, I believe that was maybe on previous seasons that he got it, but he got to be uh, Player of the Week, but also Player of the Month uh, one time each on Season 7. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to point out something else as well. Nah, I think you uh, covered it perfectly, man. Uh, indicating both these key players here. Um, yeah, both true. players. That's God. Yeah. I feel like he is a pro, bro. Yeah, number one, number one <laughs> analyst, bro. Confirmed. Uh, I'm sorry, not professional yet. So mm. next player is going to be Lorenzo Aroma. Gordon Ramsay on the table. Gordon Ooh, Ramsay. Colin Kessler. Colin oh Kessler on the side Are of we... Diffusion. And Are he's turn two. Infernity? Is this you Tears? Are... He heard the chat. He heard the chat. Yeah. That tears has to be zero infernities? That has to be Infernity, no doubt. Otherwise, I'm going to say for fun, Black Wings level reduction. Hashtag, oh, this God. man has seen my deck list on my stream, he hasn't told anyone, <laughs> and he just copies it, which is not happening, obviously. 
So, witchcraft begins. Shmira discards Forbidden Lands going for Peterly. That's actually... I mean, I can understand to discard Forbidden Lands. It's a fair discard. He said that's the secret MCS list? Okay. Oh, nah. Imagine making the... Alright. Launcher, whatever combo it is one time. Right? 36 draws. All does, pop. He get the, does he get the first turn? He doesn't even need to do the Infernity skill. <laughs> is that Hollow Life Bear one time and pass? It is Black Wings. It is Black no! Wings. He got bluffed. <laughs> I, I had cannot a feeling, but I didn't it. want to say on it. The <laughs> chat got debated. <laughs> the chat got debated. Lots of people thought it was Infernity, but it is Black Wings in fact. So level reduction. My you thought it was goodness. a spice. Bro Kessler voice. Oh, Bro man. Kessler. That is my fault. Everybody can blame me because I was the first one to mention it as well. I'm not even lying. I blame myself. Wow. Second wow. deck of Infernity, let's go. Well, that is almost lethal though because if there's any spell in hand, Peter can use the effect to bring any anything like Madame Vera, for example. So there's still a way for him to win. Man. Someone's Oroshi, all right. Oroshi. <laughs> I like the Oroshi. I Oroshi. usually say Oroshi. I say right, Oroshi. Ru There's this anime Rurouni Kenshin, and one of his an his uh, enemies is Oroshi. Changing feature in attack. Is there so. timing? Yes, there is timing. For me, there's <laughs> timing. Yeah, yeah, I feel there's timing on the side of Witchcrafter. So that means there's a spell in hand. He is going to be able to special summon. Madame Ver. A man looking to force out the uh, effect of the Tori because he is going to need a spell in the. Oh, here Wait, what? The this does? Yeah, no, he has a. He can get out of Genny. Yeah. Yeah. So. I roll it. He'll do so if he wants to. All right. Wait for the level reduction. All right. I think he's going to reduce the level of Raikiri as well. I'm right. Yes, I am. Yep, you were correct. Augers. He's gonna copy that. Yep, that's Onimaru right there. Yeah, that's Onimaru. So he's he says no to the effect of Arma doing the level five, bringing Sohayu. Sohayu is a nice card with bad attack, somehow Wait. good defense. But the good thing is, when you have an assault Blackwing in the graveyard, it's going to be able to just special summon it again. So you target yeah. Raikiri, and Raikiri, because it has not been summoned through Synchro, but instead through a special summon from the graveyard, it is not Tuner. So the only Tuner is going to be Sohaya, and we will see oh, Onimaru oh, 6k oh. attack. Combos. That's sick. Yeah, no. Now he's going to have the Infernity. So he, he is playing the Infernity deck. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here comes Hawk Show to bring back the boy one more time. Is this even game? We're gonna find out right now. Look, if it's not game, I mean... It's a... Uh, Best way to play Infernity. It's a yeah. hamper. It's the Blackwing Infernity deck. Best way to play wow. Infernities, don't. As you can see, Blackwings can have insane combos. Never, never sleep on Blackwings. Now, obviously, you can maybe sleep on Blackwings if you're playing Stall and all of that. Obviously, I can understand that. But otherwise, yeah. that's yeah. the whole combo they can have. Three Synchro on the field, and he had a spell and trap as well. If it was a counter trap, I would be shocked. If that was a kind of trap, I mean, honestly, you can have it, brother. Like, jeez. She said it's nice. That was an insane opening. I don't even need to say anything. Oh! Alright, <laughs> Masterpiece Special all Summon missed Genny. Discarding a second lance, what? That's so a little doing that, list. that is because, um, sorry, Lorenzo has triggered the main phase. Going to try the Raikiri. Oh, wait, and what? Worse, there was no, no spell. No, <laughs> no. Dang, in front of the Though, though, I'm going to be the only one to say yes because I can finally see someone playing Kalin with black wings and level reduction. It was time. Because it's I also not. do. You can blame me if you got if you guys want, but <laughs> Gordon Ramsay does it again. <laughs> uh, 
He said, I've been in the kitchen water whipping. I'm in this. And this is actually tied 6 4 uh, for both teams. Very good score. They're pretty close. Nothing is over. All right, well, that was some real solid Infernity gameplay right there, boys. Yeah, we love I, to I, see it. If I had, that's, that's definitely pure Infernity gameplay right there if I hadn't yeah. seen it myself. Time to go so, with uh, uh -oh. Coming back. The, uh, man, the man we were talking about stepping up. Yeah, I think. 3.0. I think the 7 2 uh, done by Peter Dean uh, was what he played, I believe, against uh, Lorenzo, if I'm correct. Yeah. Alright, so I read this correctly. But yes, exactly. So Peter Dean and. Um, Lorenzo had already an encounter. Let's go to the next game and Tetsuya Oh is going to be on the table this time. And that is going to be very spicy. Tetsuya Oh, a very impressive player. Yami Yugi this time, so he's bringing one of his, I'd say, main decks. 25 cards, alright. Which is going to be Element Saber. And it's going to be the turn four. Lorenzo getting the turn one. Yeah, I know. Very and... good for uh, Lorenzo here. We clearly see Yami Yugi here, so we can again assume that this is going to be some Saber action. And we know that typically that Sabres really are the counter for Black Wings. But however, not only is he playing level reduction, which does have the ability to fight through a lot of the Saber back row, but he's going first, which essentially is him winning the coin flip, so this should be pretty solid, man. Are you guys seeing this coffee pasta? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't read all that, bro. Just, yeah, I think. Yeah. Shout out to the mods one time for that quick boodoo. <laughs> okay, so Simon discards Odoshi. I want to say discarding Odyssey can sometimes be bad. Uh, if you play there's level still reduction. a way to back it up though, because there's a lot of ways to still do the synchros level 7. And Harmatan though, will be important to do the level reduction. It's a core card for the level reduction. Yeah, no. Because now that he has the uh, level reduction, he can reduce the uh, Samoon here to make the level 4. And now you can see him start popping off, so getting rid of Hiroshi is fine. It's uh, by the way, Prismatic Simon one time. Dang, oh, level reduction already! Oh, level reduction oh. already! Yeah, I told um, you, he has to make it level 7. He has to yeah, he that. has to. And indeed, it depends on his hand, but I've never done this play before personally, so I'm quite surprised. Really? Yeah, never. Because sometimes yeah. I'm oh. like, I prefer to wait if I have the counter trap or anything to defend myself. That's usually what I do. And. Another yeah, thing, safe. otherwise, that I do, there's a field I do, which is like you have Pinaki, you do an upside Hajo, putting in defense Pinaki, bring back the Simon in defense, and it's like a sort of defensive field. Yeah, something, so, yeah, right? Just put up a couple of synchros to protect you, and then have like that, because this deck runs off well, of Hawk Tamer Joe. Couple of synchro if I can, otherwise, it's one, because I said Pinaki, and then Simon, two monsters. Back with the following. Yeah. Also, just to kind of give this out, shout out to the 411, 412 now people watching the Team oh, Wars finals. Viewers, yeah. Paul, yeah. I feel yeah. honored, guys. Yeah, hope you enjoy you. at least the casting and hope you enjoy the duels, which is for me what matters enjoyment. They saw your stats around up there, like they called all their homies. They were like, yo, check this guy out. <laughs> Monster. Yeah, no, Thank you guys for uh, supporting our Team Wars, man. This is a great community event that everyone, I think, should get involved in. Uh, we got a lot of great supporters, a lot of great teams, uh, players, etc., man. Uh, you, and maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe Hideki will uh, bless you with a sub, man. I mean, the community's great out here, boys. So thank you for uh, showing out, man. All right, so Palace is going to come out right now. So Doesn't funny. even need to search from Alehu. He said, this is my house. My palace. Well, your house, your palace, but then it can get destroyed if there's any counter trap. Yeah, but honestly, using close here, it's like... The effect is being used, so... Is there anything? No, it's going to be in defense. Nothing? Nothing? 
Oh, I think there's maybe a lance, as some people have said in like the previous duels. So if there is any lance, that's still okay. Rikira is going to be alive. True. <laughs> 400 people to see a matchup that's nine months old. Which is not a lie. Except the fact that the Black Wings is using a different skill, which is... Meh. I don't really agree with that. I mean... Blackwings has been played a lot with peak performance. Harpy's hunting ground for so many months, actually. And Element Saber is way more old because we haven't even seen any other skill than Destiny Draw. Though, well, previously we had... Uh, how is it called? Well, the skill where you search any spell caster from the deck to your hand for just a thousand life points. Uh, what was the skill? Oh wait, you mean Sorcery Conduit, like the pre-nerf yes, version? Exactly. What? Sorcery Conduit. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. Like that was the, the first version I've seen of Element Cyber. Like they were using the skill a lot just to get Ale Alaster instead of using Fusion Reserve as we're seeing right now. So like that was the first version, and then the Cine Draw. Well, it came out more important. Uh, yeah, I guess, man. I don't even know. I mean, if you got it, you got it. Alright, so Malay, who's the fed is gonna activate again that flip down right here? He's not allowing him anything whatsoever to get it on board. Um, so right now, I think the set is gonna be very important coming from here. So let's see what occurs now. Let's go to fusion. 91. With the tier one sub, subbing for 26 months, saying, Let's go diffusion. Putting that money on diffusion, let's go. I'm gonna say, dude, he's treating this like a full time job. How long he's been here, All right? 26 he's... months, he's he got lives a little... practically. Yeah, no, <laughs> he's got, the, got those live notifications on, man. Always watching the VODs. Okay, Apologies, yeah. I just want to bring one fact as Ricky is entirely right. One thing about Black Wings when it comes to the versions, the first version was with Seal Toms before any feed spell. He's entirely right. So it began with Oh sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Dark. Oh I was saying preach. I was ah. rooting you on. But yeah. So, so basically this level seven, we don't know what it's going into just yet. And there's someone who's thinking that there is a Parsha on someone's side. So oh, the world is going to be the obtaining <laughs> Hope Joe. So yeah, Joe is going to come out into play. The effect and is actually Joe. able to be used. So I think Molo has used the phase down to Raikiri if I'm right. Yes, yes exactly. they did. It was very smart um, right now here because essentially since he knows or potentially could be feeling of the delay of a Lance, right now he could potentially either force it out now or get chained on. Well, Lance is going to be used, I think. Definitely going to yeah. use Lance. No reason not to. Yeah, see, so, um, my boy Lorenzo played this very, very well here. Essentially knowing that he could comfortably let that right here be flipped face down. Able to use the uh, Hawkjo effect. Was able to fight through that chain, essentially, and still can go ahead and do a little bit of damage. And to top it all off, if I'm correct. No, nah, he's yeah, not going to swing it. He just want to trigger that D draw. Man, who activates Destiny Draw? Who does that? Like, I know I've seen one, like... Please pardon me. One little fact for the people. I remember I was, like, hosting one of my tournaments. And I think that was, like, semifinals. Uh, I believe he was playing against an Element Saber, and he was playing Blackwing. So the same matchup that you see here. And the Blackwing player didn't even have lethal. He has done 3,800 attack without being worried of any Destiny Draw. And I'm like, well, get yourself a, a Destiny drop from your <laughs> opponent. The man does Progatra, cleans all the board. Did he no, win? Obviously, for the cost, you never know the strat, though. I think it's nine months we've seen Element Saber. Most of you know. Please don't trigger Destiny drop. Try yeah. your best. Because indeed, some people will be cheeky. You can see on the ending chain that can be used to reduce the life points intentionally to then trigger Destiny drop. Did that guy win? The Black Wings lost, as I told you, because literally he has attacked for nothing, not having lethal, 
And the guy with Destiny's draw draws a Laster, Purgatra cleans all the board. The guy okay. had nothing in hand on the side of Black Wings, which was pretty hilarious at that point. So now we are going to have Lorenzo training face, face up the um, Raikiri. I don't think he has a way to protect Raikiri, does he? No, he decides not to do anything. Not from a flips, no, unless he has close. Hmm, I was thinking, well, I guess the version that he's playing, he has no counter trap. That will be my guess. Some people actually play no counter traps, prefers to play Cosmic Cyclones and Lance. CC and Lance not really attacking yeah, no, if anything he's running three lands, maybe one close at that. Yeah, Lance and CC do the same thing essentially. So right now, currently here, we do know that the Hawk Show is chained up still currently. A back row is going to be set coming from our Saber player, of course. So right now, technically... Yeah, right now, technically, we're in a position, unless that back row is another Lance, which I'm assuming it would be. The Saber player is in a pretty hot spot. Like, it's not that have any more targets to toss. I'm not so sure. To... Oh, the carry's activating. Like, like, bro, if he had, like, a... Actually, no, because Flood's not even going to really help him. Oh, yet. wait, that means he doesn't have any... Yeah, he doesn't have any more element Sabers in his deck if he didn't activate the Molahu. I mean, That's actually yeah, very bad. Dumped two Malay who's one water, one lap, so... Yeah, and the last Malay who on the field. Dark, they want to know, do you think there's a counter trap? No, there's no counter trap. This version's not known to run it, so I wouldn't expect it. But I feel like because of the way the deck is built, you, you kind of have to give up, like, lances and combo pieces to make it happen, so I don't know if that's even, like, worth it. Like, if it's you want to run weird. close, you can stick with the mountain. Wait, he had the alley? Yo! Okay. What the? Uh, yeah. Scoops. Does Karma cut? Wait, he had Malehu Palace. And Alistair? And Current? I don't know. He was good. I'm actually trying to think. Wait a second. Yo. He uses he uses Karma Cut. It he's able to banish Raikiri, isn't he? Yeah, he can. It, it didn't even matter because here's the thing. So let's say he was scared of the Lance, right? We saw one revealed. The other monsters were chained up. And if everyone's going on the there's no close train here, he literally could have been like, all right, let me know if he didn't clog himself, like normal summon the Alistair, uh, change the attribute, use the effect, flip down to dodge the Lance, and then just start doing a clean board wipe. I don't know yeah, my... As people I mean, said, if there's Lance, that's exactly the case. Exactly. I mean, scared of Lance anyway, just flip. Yeah. No, like flip oh. earlier. Unless that was his last top deck. Yeah, um, just wanted to ask you guys if you want to come back with the X Factors progression just to talk a bit about uh, Tetsuya as a player. Yeah, and like just bringing at least, uh, right. yeah, exactly, just showing this again for those who haven't seen it's the same progression from X Factors, which I need to remember is a new team from the seventh season. They defeated two very good teams, Switcheroo and Destiny Draw, with very impressive scores of 10, 9, 10, 8, which is such a close score, I gotta say. It's really tight for this uh, place to... I mean, for both teams, it will have been a very, very uh, intense match just to get the victory out of it. And we can also see that Tetsuya was pretty much the MVP on both of these matches, actually. From what I see, if I'm correct. And... Yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say. Yeah, and he's right. Don't blame players. They made their best. Exactly. At some point, you have a bad hand. That's the bad hand. You cannot do much. It's a card game. I do agree <gasps> with this fact. <gasps> Yo! Man, yes. Oh my what? god. This Peters! is already bugged. Oh, okay. I didn't the see that. Weathers. I'm kind of behind. And using balance as well. So, one of the most common way of playing weathers. 
insane to see that from Tezia. Going for the getting it for one. Cloud banished. And he has He's used Snowy Candle as well. Baby, there's a storm outside. Let's go. There's a storm outside. <laughs> oh, oh my man, goodness. it's weather. We got Lightning. the weather forecast for it. It expected some black like, whirlwinds. I mean, in the black winds will win. Why this matchup, actually? That's my question. <laughs> I'll have to see. I mean, at least that's my opinion, because if you if you destroy the monsters, you're generally fine. So you will need actually a good back row. I do think he has at least one or two. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Some people already it's guessing lucky. some of the staples like Karma set. I don't think there's any Karma cut being played on it. Yeah, exactly. There is a Floodgate. Very good choice. So no, he's not able to summon any Black Wing. So that Floodgate was good. Not only that, Tetsuya uses the effect again because there's the Weather Snow I can pass. Banishes it, searches for another Weather Spell or Trap. I believe he adds it to the hand as well. No, he has a monster. Wait. No, a Weather Cut. So it can be Spell Trap or even Monster. Mm -hmm. He's actually very good. Three cards in hand, he's going to fill his hand easily. Not only that, but he can also go in attack, just destroy the Bora face down as well. That's well, the good stuff. Yeah, no. Right now, Weather Painters are getting off at a pretty uh, lucky position right now because in reality, this is not a favorable matchup like whatsoever. Like, like literally, Black Wings are the counter to Weather Painters. But nonetheless, right now, the fact that he's playing cards like Floodgate, maybe if he opened up pretty ideally, maybe with one or more, um, I mean, we've already seen one, but like two or another one set potentially, he could be okay. But again, we do know that uh, Lorenzo is running Lances, so we're not too sure how reliable this deck will be. But at least he can start doing some work here, so. But I mean, I'm okay. excited. Okay. Okay, he's Dude. instead preferring to do a direct attack. Dude, he's not clogging him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's. He said he's putting the clamps on him. You're it done. So now he banishes it. By banishing What's it, you're going to trigger the effect world? of Snowy yeah. Canada. That's actually very... I thought he's going to destroy Bora, which is still fine because he cannot even resurrect Bora. Yeah. He will have been able to deal more attack. Yeah, I think a lot of people are agreeing to have the monsters clogged, so like face down. I don't think it is a bad choice, you guys are right, but it's a little monster, it is weak, has bad defense, so I mean, why not the string a little Bora, you know, it has just, I believe it has 800 defense from memory, yeah, so he can yeah. take the profit from that, deal more attack, because it all depends on the next monster you summon, and I mean, the effects are going to be triggered, so then what's going to happen is, I mean, if nope. he has a floodgate, he's good to go indeed. Here's so, what's the, the crazy part about this, so... I'm not gonna, I mean, to be honest, I can't even really coach these guys. I mean, they made it to finals. So. I, I, I already feel you, uh, Cosmic. Yeah. I know exactly yeah. what you're Yeah, yep. Yeah, this guy yep. gets yep. it. This guy gets it. Yep. Look, all I'm saying. Going for the painter or Claude first. You know, in, the, in the level reduction versions defense, too, I feel like, you know, it, it can play around the two slots pretty good, too. Yeah, no, 100%, man. All right, banishing the two. Oh, what a cheeky. Oh, that is a, that is a very good move. Forcing him to just search Orochi. Very big brain. Very, very good move. Risky. Oh, it's so not risky. Well, I mean, yeah, in the, in the end, it's actually risky. Oops. Rip. <laughs> That's so rip, actually. That That's actually was yikes. About. <laughs> that was a good idea. Wow. wow. I mean, it was a good idea, but then Orochi puts face up the monster. Doesn't yeah, matter. Just... So it's... Oh! No, it's ultimate Providence, okay? Ultimate Providence! No more Orochi. You stay with a Sohaya. Sohaya for what? Sohaya for nothing. Ah, oh, man. Alright, that's no, quite I'm... a surprise. Ultimate Providence. I didn't even expect that. We just got a rate of 57 from MC Blue Skies. Oh my gosh, let's go. Uh... Thanks for the Check uh Thanks for the raid, Blue Skies. Hope you had a good stream. Yeah, thanks so much. And hope you yeah. enjoyed these duels as well, guys, and the commentary if possible. 
because Disturbia, Garbage Commentator, Dark and Fear, and Cosmic Flare, the Poggers, you know what. We're pogging right now. The Poggers, exactly. it sounds uh, Well, like I'm not like pogging, I said that. The Poggers <laughs> are the players. The weather is still alive, just receiving a 1,500 attack by Sohaya, but doing the good counter against um, Sohaya to not even, well, against the Orochi that was sent to the graveyard. Which is not flipping up the Bora. So yeah, he's gonna keep attacking directly. Oh wait, what? Send it to the graveyard to... Alright, that's a very good move. He doesn't even need to search more. He called if he want to. But the two other spell the trap are more important because... Maybe he has another searcher uh, for the spell and trap. Yeah, no. Alright, using the second effect. So he's going to use this spell. Yeah, good choice. Reducing the attack of his okay, opponent, that's a good. Get because now Sohaya is going to the graveyard, and there's not actually that much cards that can uh, special summon back the Sohaya, except Upset and Hog Show. I believe, yeah, exactly. Since it's an Black Blackwing, Chidri can also special summon it if Chidri gets destroyed by battle or card effect. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what's going on in chat right now. Can someone please translate this? I'm so lost. Translated? I don't think we can. <laughs> like, I, like, I, can someone just put a Google Translate, please? Like... Yeah, that's actually, that's actually nothing special, just to be very honest. That's, let, let me see, I'm gonna try because I'm translating in French. Which Wait, I know you're gonna is translate something. Japanese to French? I mean, I do any language, it doesn't matter. It translates the same. Yeah, I've done Japanese to English right now. It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Are you, doing are, you, are you doing this from memory okay. or are you just going on Google so, Translate, homie? What he's going to do is reduce the attack again, so now he cannot search anything. So, why are he going to search anything? Black Wings. You only play one Orochi. Orochi has been searched before. Harmaton, 800 attack. Is there any Black Wing with a lower attack? Yes, there is, but we don't play them because they are maybe bad. A classic. They're maybe bad. <laughs> I yeah, mean, there's one, there's the one thing the Black Wings that you will like. I don't want to give... This is honorable mention for the Black Wings list. There's actually a level 2, which I don't remember the name, sadly. He has 500 attack, 800 defense. He can do that with attacks. He's nice. Uh, it's the one that switches them to their battle position, right? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot his name, too. <laughs> 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 it's All the right, secret so he Black has at least the Gale. <laughs> Special summon. Yes, he's not going for the search. Going for lava reduction. Level reduction. Let's all go. All right, all right. So he's good to go. He's good to go. Level four. For level. Okay, he's good yeah. to the gale. Exactly. Nice. Good move here. Nice. Um, man, now they made it sub mode. I can't even talk. Okay, it's I didn't fine. even know It's that. fine. It's fine. It's 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 so people can come down. There's too much fake Japanese. You know, the copy pass though. Who can do much? Keg W. Alright, someone give me a sub, I need this. Ah <laughs> uh, no, I won't. I'm going to instead maybe talk to them, but So he attributed the similar he's got the similar play because of the level reduction. That's now actually he's gonna got be a hard to find. Like one of the cars that's going to go back to the end, but otherwise I have a feeling it's lethal. I mean, literally the obsidian hog job brings back sense. Sohaya by default. He can also decide to bring Samoon instead. Why would he bring so high? He's not going to have anything to splash for somebody's clog. Yeah, I mean, cute level 5. His name is so high. Okay, this is, this is his board. This is good to sit on this attack with the yeah, black wing. Yep. He ain't got no choice but to bounce back. So it's really if he has a hand trap or not. Yeah, nah. Yeah, there are still some hand traps that can be played. I do believe he has some Kytroid. We'll see. Can be possible. No! 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 no. 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 Oh ah, my yes! Goodness. That's the balance version. It doesn't even use it. I forgot. I, I, when they anyway. attacked directly, I felt that attack. <laughs> I lost some life points in that attack. And Lorenzo is going to take the win for this duel. Um, so, I'm so just far, little... 8 points for D Fusion <laughs> with an insane advantage this time. <laughs> and expected with 4 points. Dang, no, for the weathers, a lot of people play 
balance and i'm not even a fan of balance i'm not saying it is bad but i don't feel it's the way to play weathers like i've seen other decks like, for example using draw since high level for the memes to get the golem lava lava golem sorry but like they play hand traps like kytrod also sphere creep if you want which i mean protects more weathers because you bounce you also receive no attack so mm -hmm. With the version balance, they don't really play cards like Kytrod and Sphere Kriba, as I mentioned, so he will receive attacks of that kind, which will be lethal in that situation. Yeah, Lorenzo is popping off today. Yeah, he's yeah. got, got no popping off earlier. Yeah. It's, it's, their, their specific decks are just going on rampages right now. And the next what? player is going to be Smog, but before Smug that, we're going God. to play your recourse again, just to show the stats of Diffusion. So this time, Lorenzo, as you can see, is going to have a way better ratio because he has won like three matches, got six lots, but he has won three right now. And now he's going to, well, he has now six wins, six loss, he's average. And the man is actually in a good spot, and it's pretty impressive. The, the team decided to bring uh, players like Lorenzo to the finals, actually. And I believe mm. there's also Juchi in the roster, Jano, who didn't play as well. So, going to go for the match. The next player on the X Factors roster, the last one is Smug. Yeah, Smug and guy. And there's another. No, wait. I was about to say there's another Colin Kessler, and I'm like, wait, this is Lorenzo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> My yeah, apologies, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Smug right. God to the table, number so one is... gold icon, North American, all American player. Smug anime God incoming. Let's go, Hoggers. Whole chat excited. I can see. You. Nah, Smug's not Mexican, bro. Is it me? Wait, what the? Him Haitian already. Wait, Going what? For the early cost it is. Did my man Oh, would... that is a good move. Oh, that is a good move. So now he's just going to be able to have at least an Alistair for later on. He Wait, started with whoa, double whoa, whoa, alley, whoa, double whoa, invol. Whoa. Are you telling... Whoa. No. Is this three fusion in one turn or at least two? Wow. Yeah, wow. Go three. This man is popping off already on this duel. Cossetus, Kaliga. What a hand. Yeah, that is going to be sadly only two, but it's still enough. He could How have... He could have gone How for a defense laser. Yeah, he could have gone for defense laser if he wants. If, if like, in case it gets destroyed, you... Nah, dude. That's way too sketchy, dude. Literally one Rikiri pop on your face down Alistair? Ah, what? true. Yeah, yeah exactly. no, let's, li true. let's literally ask him just to get beat up. Yeah, because, I mean... Raikiri will be like the first Blackwing uh, card that will use the effect. And like Haliga is this kind of card that reduces the amount of effects you use. Is it so, a lot uh, of people say that, but we'll see. If you want so far, I do agree it's a good hand. Bora I mean... searches Harmatan. And what is going to be the next card? Lucky. Game. I mean, I'm a I'm just gonna let it play out so you can see how it happens, yeah, but right. only mm -hmm. time can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Smug God. No, what's important is that he just needs to do the right here. He doesn't even need to use the Gale effect. He can only uh use it up to Kaliga. And what's important is he needs to pop uh the Kaliga. Alright, Rakiri. Going for the level reduction using the level 2. No, level 4! Alright, yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. Um, He's going to then special summon. Use the effect of Rakiri, which is going to pop Kaliga. He's going to be like, well, I got something. Okay, well, I special got, summon uh... Gale because he has it, which is still good, because what matters is goodbye, Kaliga. Yeah, I'm so now he's going to be with his effect. But, yeah, uh, I think what is going to truly matter is, as you said, Onimaru needs to be on the field. Yeah. Let's see how he does it. So far, he has the Bora. No. He goes for Armaton. Okay, that's 
Chase noted that. So he's going to. Okay, that's easy. With the Raikiri, does Sohaya. Sohaya brings back Raikiri on Imaru. Then has Bora. Does Obsidian Hogjo, which is going to bring Raikiri in that game. Easy combo yeah, okay. every day. <coughs> Who knew that combo? Tell in the chat. Who knew that combo? Like me. Who knows it? Put a yes in the chat if you knew about it. Cake W. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I think no, a lot I mean, of people knew, obviously. Yeah, everyone knows the combo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. No, okay. not me. Really. <laughs> you have to understand, my boy still has the I four. Don't trust this, no, I don't trust this. No, I know you guys know it. You're better than me. You know what this is, dude? This you is... guys are gods. You you guys are gods because you correct me. I do more mistakes than everybody. I trust everybody. YouTube. Okay. Well, no, this is literally a YouTube highlight clip. Like, Team War is about to be like, Alright, boys, we're gonna teach you how to play Blackwings today. <laughs> so wow, I do. Black Wings. <laughs> do you wanna know how to sack? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Uh, how do you play Blackwings? So higher? <laughs> he brings so high up. Yeah, he's flexing. Yeah, that's the biggest flex I've seen in years. Not even right, Kiri. <clears throat> well, yeah, ain't no need. Actually, so high, let, let me know some facts. What does so high I mean? I don't know, bro. I mean? I'm, I'm assuming it's like a bird or something. Sure. I think it means brain. something <laughs> like. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, hey, <laughs> Lorenzo Roma roaming uh, around. Man, that's it, honestly this version of Black Wings. Like, I feel it's not even easy to play, mainly if you're like against a lot of back, back row. But like, he got lucky against that element saber. Let's not lie. I mean, no back row at all, just fusions. That's what happened. And Black Wings are getting second turn as well. So. Yeah, I don't think so a lot of decks can really handle this. And we're going to have a repeat from Smog. Oh, repeat? Last repeat. Oh, dang, he's bringing it back. Yeah, yeah he has like, to. That's a good choice. He has to because there's a lot of macro. He can actually play over the, um, the Black Wings if he gets it. So for me, that's a good choice. Definitely. Right, so Not Smug because, oh, well, there's yeah. one more repeat I do for the sake of it. It's because you have a lot it's of back row. That was just an important thing. Repeat of 2020. Malehu 2 back row. Nice. These are the hands we can understand coming from a Blackwing player. Let's go. I mean, a Saber player. Finally going to be able to actually get some control on this board here. Gonna summon a Panaki. Yep. No. Ugh. That's not a... That's not ideal. Oh, this broken opening. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Malehu, I think Malehu is just a threat to this deck all around because he plays around the lamps too. Dude, Malehu literally says you get nothing. In Malehu's house, all y'all sit down. Are you coming in without Balenciagas? Go away. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's literally it, dude. The Element Saber has the... the that is actually going to be... Turning Double. the tables. One good Malay who deserves another. I feel it. Yeah, this, Dude, is, this is rough for the Blackwing player. That's all I'm going to say. Because now you got two things. Well, one of them is going to be flipping you face down a turn. But they're all going to be pumping. Yeah, honestly. Is he debating on swinging right now? Like, you see this hmm. delay, right? Yeah, he's thinking about it. Alright, DC in finals one time. I mean, really, nah. don't do that. That'd, that'd be depressing, nah, but... Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, nah. Be very don't depressing. say that. Don't bring the curse. Oh my god. I, I will actually really hate you if you say that. Come on, no. Never say that. No, no, I mean, no, 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 no. I already felt bad for that kind of situation in a previous run, which I don't even want to mention. I okay. want to see... I want to see at least both of the players able to play. Equally. Yeah. That's what minus me. Alright. Also, don't worry, you're not being full cosmic. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so... for real. I don't hate anybody but myself. Wait, oh, oh, okay. It's fine. 
Oh, Hating so takes a lot of energy. Gain another Simoon. Yeah, so Simoon activates right, so is getting the Bora. So, okay, 12 Black Two World Mollyhoos, World. which are flexing, but it all depends on what's going to happen. Lance is going to be very good for him, but I mean, any monster he's going to summon one of the Mollyhoos is going to flip down. There's also the back row. So far, that's the counter to the deck. Alright, Malehu flip one time. Malehu double flood. Ooh, prismatic, dude. I'm, dude, I have my own prismatic Simoon, but oh my gosh, I just love seeing us still. Like, look at this miss, name. Did you miss oh, Simoon uh, prismatic for all these games? You're, uh, no. you're a talent. I just, I just love seeing it. <laughs> I mean, I love seeing prismatics as well because it's always like this little way of showing that you have a prismatic. Con like I don't know, it's just. A good it feeling, you know, you're just happy to have that kind of shine on a card. I even do myself, for example, for my Dark Magician Navigation. Alright, using the effect of Mother Who, no need of back row, obviously, which is going to put it down. No, it down, that's okay, yeah, normal he's summon. still able to normal summon, as Dark said. Apologies for cutting you out, Dark. Oh, no, you're fine. But, it's uh... your turn to commentate. I'll give myself a more minute. Your turn, let's go. So let's see what he's what what he's searching. Is he gonna pull off that uh that Aroshi play again, or is he uh, going? To... Let's see. All right, Gail, Gail add. Oh man, that's it. <laughs> okay, uh, no, that's it. Another all... second edition, yeah. Uh... Is Malehu hard once per turn? I don't think so. I think technically. Um, because you use a field spell. Yeah, field spell and once from hand if you have a saber in hand, I believe. So, yeah. So he got yeah. double gale. So what is he gonna... Okay, reduce one. I guess get him out the way slowly, but he doesn't really have any... He only has access to Rikiri and something else. Yeah, I guess my question is, what is Smug's back row? Because what I'm a, not concerned I think he's, I think about he's here. reserving his There's back surely an unending chain. chain. There should be an unending chain somewhere, at least. Probably a bad aim as well. Yeah, I think uh, he's hiding a lance. And he's definitely hiding a lance. I, Hiding from I, the lance. Yeah. Someone saying that there's a lance. Me saying it's an ending chain with a uh, bad end. So calling two back row. I'm a crazy. An ending chain. You mean an ending nightmare? Uh, yes. An ending yeah. nightmare, exactly. Oh, okay. I was like, what? I feel this is actually a misplay. He didn't even use level reduction yet. Um. Yeah, I wonder what he's looking for here. Ah, that's actually tough to look. I mean, maybe he wants to copy the <laughs> Rikiri and make a, what, level... Uh, 16, go up to level 9, 7, what the heck? Yeah. What does that make? I don't know. The ultimate synchro that I don't know about. The ultimate synchro from outside of the game. <laughs> Cal <Kalan>, new, <Kalan, laughs> new skill. He is going using the effect of Rikiri to one of the back rows. And it's a An invocation. Oh my god, we don't need this right now. Oh no. That's actually a good pop for later, actually. Oh, he's looking at this, I guess, yeah. Love reduction this time. Oh, level 5, bring back my boy. Oh, oh, Don't tell oh, me, Onimaru. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> lord. Oh my god. I think he really just went the style at this Man. point, bro. Man, if he does Onimaru, that's going to be game. Well, it now all depends on the back row. Molly's a... effect has been activated. One of the phase down cards was an invocation. He oh man. Needs... He has one pop. He has a whole level 12. It's 6k thousand. That is crazy. It's 6 stack, basically. Yeah. As <laughs> deep Yu Gi Oh says. Yeah, he's getting the famous thing. Man. The Fiendish Chain. It is Fiendish oh. Chain. Chain Lance. Does he have the Lance? He does no, have no lance oh negating the effect of so high. No Onimaru. Damn. Impressive. Damn. That will have been insane on any of the cases.
Dude, if that yeah, man had the lance, lance, I thought he had the lance, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, no I, like this time it's going to be full. Oh, oh, oh. Still a full bulk there though, so I can't. I guess Still you can't. Going for, the game. Not. for the sake of it, it's which not is... even board clearance, bro. My man can't even swing over bow only into one. He's gonna do I a mean... beefy 200, but that's just it. Like Malay, who can just flip itself yeah, down it. and then back up. It doesn't even need to do anything. Just need to attack on the top. How can he attack Malay, who's way weaker oh, than yeah, him? Sure. I forgot. I about mean, the... let me see the element sabers first of all. So there's three. He can. Oh, yes, he can. Flip yeah, down your arm, Malehu, put it back, and that's it, game. Just need to yeah. choose the element, and you can flex with that. Yeah. Literally, it's all a question about changing the elements. Searches for Malehu instead. Yeah, here we go. That was a big play, and exactly. that train actually I cut it. Smug anime god. That that, that 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 repeat going to work. Yeah, I mean, honestly. I mean, it was definitely a good choice because, as I said, that first duel was pretty weird. Just changing the words, but weird to say because the we had. Right? I mean, I was about to say a s word, not a swear. By the, uh, I don't even know how to speak English. My bad. But yeah, like the fact that you have a. I turn one having two fusions, it's not something you see. And against Black Wings, who gets second turn, he had the way to an emerge. So, I guess it's going to be the next duel. So, well, right now, first off, can, um, very good job from Smug here to go ahead and bring X Factors up a game here. He does still have a hefty amount of a uh, train he's going to need to run if he really wants to start doing anything. But right now, um, Currently, Diffusion has a hefty amount of counters left here. I mean, taking a look, Lorenzo still has his second deck that we're going to get into. They still haven't even played the rest of the guys, like Chu exactly. and Jano, so... Yeah. Chu Chu and Jano hasn't even played yet. First turn, going for Smog. And oh, it's going everybody. to be Witchcraft on the side of Lorenzo. This is actually going to be really spicy. It's not the end of everything. It all depends on how how the field of Smog will look at the end of the turn. He can still play against the Witchcrafter. Turn one Cassitis for the second duel in a row. Well, second duel. Cassitis doing his thing. Well, yeah, yeah, third duel for Smog, actually. Yeah, second, third, yeah, yeah. Finally gets Cassitis out. Starting out, Lorenzo playing, honestly, one of his strongest decks we've seen. Um, what's it called? Um, Witch Crafters, of course. And we see today we've seen Crafters really start to pop off. So, especially against a matchup like this, which really is still technically in favor of Crafters. This could be the thing to seal the deal, but nonetheless, this is still anyone's game here. <laughs> Wower says Lorenzo's also known for his four spell hands. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so you're just gonna Back end on row. Only one. Backrow That's not bad. Not I mean... going to be enough against Watchcrafter. Like, two Bakra is generally what will stop most of Witchcrafter moves. A pointer of the Red Lotus. Ooh, okay, a pointer of the Red Lotus right of the bat. Wait, what? Revealing oh my... another... Dude, he started it out with Ali Invo again? I don't know how I feel about the Whoa. Lotus this matchup, though, because ah, I feel like that's the... actually That's I actually going to be very bad. Kind of he... me. No, I Sorry, go ahead. My man was expecting him to open only essentially one spell. Yeah, everybody says double charge. Banishes one of the charge, but still, that's... That's going to be bad for him. Has also three witchcrafter, which are good that he can special summon if he wants to. Yeah, no, nah, man. Let me. Uh... Yeah, I forgot me... one thing. God, Is he forcefully bad? No, he doesn't have any witchcraft to spell. Let's not forget about this guy. So he has no witchcraft to spell, so he cannot really play along with all the monsters. What he needs to do instead is exactly banishing the monsters that he has in the graveyard using Petri, draws, cards. Right now, what he's going to go is probably discard 
I don't think he's going to go for discarding Genny. He's going to go instead for Shmita. Just in case to have like a witchcraft spell. At yeah, least that's my thought. Yeah, I don't even know, man. Look. I'm just gonna continue to hope for the best and see what occurs right, here. Uh, but right now, unfortunately, out. It's really I'll, I'll it's come maintain this match then. I'll come maintain this match. Okay, yeah, he man. discards Genny, so discarding Genny with that kind of situation, I don't know why he has gone for that. Because Shmita lets you um, put a Witchcraft account from the deck to the graveyard. Yeah, so, so, so he does opt to discard Genny. Discarding Genny is not really a good choice. I do understand why he goes for that, which will be, what? oh, well, I have a spell that is in the in the graveyard. I can use Genny's effect, which is still okay. So Unveiling. A... So he hasn't normal summon yet. Yeah. So Genny's not uh, bad. Yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. He tried the show of nightmare. Good choice for green for that, but sadly orange is not the best. I mean, he got unveiling again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it again. Very good here. So looks like he was able to go ahead. Okay, and looks like something death of the Minerva. We're probably gonna see Whoa. every coming out here. Just like that. <laughs> and so no, every's gonna be graveyard, he gets a mill, right? Um, I believe it's from if it's from death, yeah, so I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, so now every is really, really strong here because not only although Smug does have D draw, he is gonna have the ability to go ahead and get rid of this Cassitis. And since he is going to be able to dump that Shmeta here, um, or dump a spell, I should say, or really anything, probably he's going to get like a Holiday or even a Masterpiece, of course, which is going to be really, really good. And a Pointer is going to add that Light Brigade right back to hand. So, Deidre. So right now, I guess the question is, this really is unfortunately a do or die turn from Smunk, and we have seen his hand revealed. He has an Alistair and an Invocation. So we have seen cards like Econ really being revealed today, but the question is, with that Masterpiece, is it even really enough for him to do anything, unfortunately? For real. Let's see. So he's drawing his Destiny. Yeah, I think no, it's it, going to be enough this, because this, Masterpiece, this you, you can actually activate after he attacks with Purgatrio. Then you let Gossidus attack and you don't receive piercing damage. Yeah, no, there's definitely plenty of options that he can do here. It's just... I think today has been a perfect display of like, Oh, I nerfed uh, crafters, guys. Now they're unplayable. Now you can't do right. anything. So the, the community was like, what? Okay. Put this play two cards. <laughs> Very interesting. I, I this is uh Well Smug did add his card finally, so right now he put a hefty amount of thought into this. So I'm wondering if he opted for something that's gonna allow him to really make a big push here. Or Alistair has entered the building. Yep. Or if he's gonna opt for something a little bit more defensive here. And right now, no, it all sucks. I'm Let's taking see. a look at the graveyard. He only has one E Saber, and since we know he has an Invo, he doesn't even have something like a double perk play, essentially. Hey, Econ, there it goes again. Econ yeah. coming out, of course. There it goes. Econ strikes again, stealing yeah. another game. This is actually a game here because he's going to change the Element Saber to Fire, which is going to be Purgatria. But even then, I mean, Masterpiece and Grave is going to allow him to get out yet another Genny. And then if there is a Witchcrafter spell in the hand, he can bring out that Veer, which will allow him to not only negate the effects of the Perfect Trio, but he will have the ability to boost. So actually, the Witchcrafter player should be in a relatively fine position. Good point. I agree 100%. I do believe he has two monsters in hand, if I'm correct. He he has 
He definitely has one guaranteed spell, I believe we saw with the previous turn. So right I now, currently... Unveiling, right? I believe so, yes. He used but... an unveiling to summon Shmira, and then he used a show of Nightmare, and I think that was it. If I'm correct. Let me see. So he's gonna banish the mistake and arrest that was revealed here. Very, very good. And now he's gonna bring out, bring out the Geni. And since it is in the main phase here still, he is gonna be able to bring out that Veer. And he is gonna tribute the Geni. It looks like we, uh, we're uh about to see that Veer. And now that we know that he has not only the one spell at least revealed that he did just drop or discard to get out the beer, we know that I believe there's at least what one charge left in his hand, considering how it was used by a pointer. Yeah. So he essentially will be big enough to not only stop the um to stop the um attack of the uh, purgatory from going through. Effects. So, we knew he had the charge, so he's not big enough. Yeah, he didn't even need to. He just had the boost, bro. There we go. I think so he... This is yeah, no, turning back into his favor now because that every's about to pop off. He's got the negate with... Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I think he, he got every... out of the tough situation now. I think it's about to become his game, the way things are going right now. Every says bye-bye, bro. So bye bye Cassidus. Veer is gonna allow him the big boy boost. He just discarded his um, Alistair too. We know that in his hand it's an invocation, so this is gonna be 100% lethal here. So now it's time for Veer to reveal the Light Brigade, the Mistaken Arrest, and just like that, the Renzo Roma. Insane, bro. Gordon Ramsay cooking up a quick win here. Let's go. Very Wait. good job. What the heck, bro? Dude, crafters. Is... As well. I think Mystic and RS was like drawn from the deck as well. Yeah, so, man. The winner of this finals is going to be Diffusion, winning 10 uh, out of 5 against uh, X Factor. Big up to both teams. That was yeah, amazing, man. I'm, I'm oh. blown away. That was some top tier gameplay, Lorenzo. Yeah, I, I, I see him play Lots today. I see him play today. Holy crap! A lot of games were good here. Yeah, no. Today um, we had a lot of great competitors really showing not only their skill set, but we got to see many displays of not only just some great reads, actions, even a better display of. Literally the day after of um, Crafters being hit with that ban list of Holiday 3 that it just essentially did not affect anything. Still as powerful, still such a strong deck, and this is just a nothing short of extraordinary that you love to see from a great team like that. So GG's to both teams. Congrats to Diffusion for uh, becoming the brand new Team Wars champions. Of course, we are going to set up interviews, of course. Looks like currently we're getting that coordinator right now, so we may be moving down to those booth spots. Congrats, man. Also, still a wonderful performance from X Hunters, very, I mean, X Factors. Very unfortunate that it went down like this, but hey, man, you love to see great action, so we're gonna move right down and we're gonna get right into our interview, so uh, give us a moment. Yeah. Just waiting here. Who? There he is, Team Wars champion, member of Diffusion, going four and two in the debut or finals war today. Nah, and Clapper, Q, how are you both today? Oh, well, um, we've been really happy right now. <laughs> like. <laughs> I do, I, I, to be I'm fair, still I, kind of speechless, not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I, not I'm, gonna lie, I'm, I'm speechless as well, because when we saw the band list, we've been like, oh, shit, okay, what should we bring? And 
I'm not gonna lie, the last scrim yesterday we made helped us a lot to figure out that Witchcrafter is not dead. And yeah, we've been lucky with that today, with the hands. Yeah, no, you guys uh, definitely not only had some ideal hands, but you definitely were able to display that the ban list did not affect anything. Um, very good job to hear that you guys were testing. Um, what was your mindset coming into this war for you guys um, in terms of how you wanted to approach this? Like, what was your thought process and your tactics you used building up to this very moment here, as well as throughout the season, if you can elaborate on that? Well, um, I like, from the... We at the beginning of the season we were doing lineups and stuff in a different way. We changed it during the, like mid season. We changed it because the results were not there, and like after that change, just like everything came through together. Like we started analyzing the the lineups in more detail. We were like, um, uh, like with what deck do you like? We have like different pairs. Like for example, like you have like um, you have different ways. Like your witchcrafter pair can go in with witch. It's like better if you go in with witchcrafter than if you go in like for example with um, uh, blackwing. We had like witchcrafter blackwing as a pair, for example. That pair doesn't work if you go in with uh, witchcrafter because you're gonna end up in a blackwing mirror, for example. We started looking more into the small details. Uh, Jano helped a, a lot with the lineups. Like he made like the skeleton for all the lineups. And oh wait, he's here when I talk with him. like are you the devil? I say your name and your son. I am everywhere. I wanted to cast the finals, but it's okay being in interview is also nice for a change of pace. You can't cast the finals if you're a winner, Jano. Yes, so I take that. I think that's a good trade. <laughs> yes. Uh continue to uh you were on a very uh, good train of thought there for a moment or so. Uh, yeah, but like, uh, uh, that basically concluded it, like, we just approached the lineups in a more, like, tactical way, like, we did, like, a bit of, we tried to understand what our opponents like to play, and we just prepared for that, like, we made, like, small adjustments adjustments to our normal list, because basically we brought the same lineup, lineup. pretty much for three weeks in a row, like, we changed, yeah, or, like, or three, yeah, yeah, yeah three weeks in a row, like, we, we, changed, we changed one or, like, some decks changed some decks because we expected different matchups, and like we just wanted like a certain deck like to beat the counter and then to be able to beat the deck that is coming next to counter it like for example that's what we like we saw like our witchcrafter had mistaken arrest there so like it's to beat the deck that they're going up against and then like to still beat the blackwing which is going to counter it so like that's i think like one of the main reasons like that i like those ideas and things that we put into our deck list is like one of oh, the main for ideas ex for example succeeded. for example when we played against two links taiwan we expected from them, of, versus Neo, I think, was it? I'm not sure. We expected from them that they bring the 30 card Shiranui. And our normal uh, Blackwing player did not play like Cosmics or Forbidden Lands. We put instead of Night Beam in and a second Necro Valley, like to adjust into the matchup. Like Cosmic is not good if he has chainable uh, trap cards. So we just like the decks from one of the Blackwing players. But we didn't do in the in the beginning of the season very good Dude, imagine having the insight to try to, to to predict that your opponent would bring 30 card here of all decks like uh, like, man, the, like I, those I guys will... brought it a lot like it, it we want like the... to know the secret to win finals i will tell you you yeah. don't overthink you don't over predict you play what's good and like oh my god when witchcraft was nerfed people were like oh my god witchcraft is nerfed is he still good we need, do we need Dark Magician out? We need Blue Eyes out? We need this or that? No, no, no need anything. Just keep it simple and you win. No need to overthink. Let the opponent overthink. Let them bring, I don't know, Weather Painted. Card Shira, Blue Eyes, Weather Painted, Shira, Blue yeah, Eyes, Fire Dragon. Let them bring all of those. We, we just need to know that they might bring those and how to play against them. That's what we need to know because if we are not careful, we might lose to a random deck because we don't know how it works and then we misplay. As long as we know how to play it, easy, easy, easy. Yeah, and uh, another thing is the... Um, like, if you just check our lineup, we just play four decks. Like, for mm -hmm. today. We have we have three Witchcraft, we have three Black, Black Wings, we have three E-Savers. And we have a uh, one of which I'm missing right now. Hey, I don't Shira. know what is it. One yeah, and, and the one of Shira. One Shira, yeah. Uh, right. So we like we just, we just like invest really in the good decks because well they're the good decks for some reason. Because I will tell you another secret. People think meta is very diverse, and it's true. But the good decks are not. If you look at our lineup, we clearly 
see the, the meta as a triangle. We have Sabres to beat Blackwing, Blackwing to beat Witchcraft, Witchcraft to beat Saber, and now Saber goes to Blackwing. And this is it. And then we have a, a Sheeta, just in case we need something versatile for some reason. And that's it. We don't care. Oh, but Blue Eyes win this tournament last week. Oh my god, no. Don't care. That's yeah. how it works. But he as well, um, just for my side, I want to thank Bricks and Potatoes because they did like in the past weeks a lot of scrim. I don't know how many, but if we made a scrim, it was against BP, I think. And as we well, made three they... against them, I think. I think it was three. Yeah, I mean, we just made three scrims, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I it, just it, does, it doesn't feel that much. And yeah, just because of them, um, we just figured out like. That witchcrafter is still a really good, a really good deck because I was done with witchcrafters. I was not sure about witchcrafters, but people have more brain than me, and they showed me that the deck is like still pretty OP. Yeah, and don't forget, shout out to Mist for the mistaken arrest. He's crying in chat, so I gotta say it. Yes, oh, I have God. to say, <laughs> I have to say it. I have, if if I wouldn't scrim against him, I wouldn't play it. Like for real, thanks to him because he showed us. Uh, showed us the tech cards and yeah. yeah and it was a really it was a really good card like it didn't come in effect here in this match in like in the in this war but like it would have came up if we had it it's a really good card in the deck yeah no, you guys gave a an excellent display of that deck i think honestly what you guys did not only was a real display of just skill and dominance but i mean even though this is a side i think you guys gave some guys insight of that witchcraft is are playable and we know the mcs is literally like in an hour or so so i think a lot of people Wait, are gonna it's be in an hour? it's, in, it's at one. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, don't don't i have like five minutes to sign up holy wait 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 wait, wait. i don't know bro <laughs> well, I, I signed i signed up while i was uh right before casting bro but yeah no i think you guys literally showed that hey we can still play this deck in mcs so it looks like uh, your buddy lorenzo's in the waiting room also so can back. can i give some thanks to people of course i want to thank my former teammates the ones that were not happy when i left and said i was toxic you know the other ones Damn. that were kind of sad that i left oh my god uh, those are the best <laughs> also shout out and also shout out to Nif, Nif, best caster best streamer ever he helped me a lot to learn how to cast and that's it oh shout out to vino vino is the master he told me he taught me everything. If I didn't team with V, I wouldn't be here in this final for sure. So shout out to my okay. boy. So can we just shout out to everyone who Thank was you. watching all the uh, all the referees here to make it short run, right? Just everyone. Shout out to all my friends. I love you all. You are all the best. Come watch my stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Lorenzo. Thank you for uh, joining the uh, interview. How are you uh, feeling, mm -hmm. my friend? Yeah, very good after the embarrassment very last good. week. It was good that I didn't go O2 this week because last week was very embarrassing. No, but <laughs> I thought I go O2. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I didn't want to end the season with that showing. That was pretty terrible. But yeah. And I'm a bit mad at Rizzo that he didn't let me play Infernity, but it's fine. I forgive him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, we were waiting for that tier zero spice, man. We were yeah, looking for he the. He didn't uh, have any starter, and it, it didn't. It, it wouldn't have made sense as a non-starter. It doesn't counter anything. It can just streak. True. Yeah, like we tested uh, yesterday a lot of a lot of stuff. Like we tested block dragon. What? That was yeah yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> I went I went like four one in the screen with block. Yeah, four one in the screen with block dragon. Let me play my memes, please. <laughs> it was it was fun block dragon t zero and i i tested uh e saber uh turbo list like where you get turn one the field spell on the field with cockatus and mulihu like you, 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 play, you play like cockatus to do and psy reflecto and shit then basically turn one you end on ancient fairy dragon and the e saber of your choice with palace if you draw cockatus to do and alistair it's an ftk because you have a, a fusion of your choice and e saber of his choice and ancient fairy dragon yeah Oh my gosh, the spice! Yeah, but no one, no one gives my spice. Yeah, we, 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 we want, uh, don't want to bring it because, like, we had one day of testing. Like, we tested the decks one day, and we've been like, nah, 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 nah we can't do that. It's like not trust. that much. If I, say, if, I say my meme is good, if I say my meme is good, you have to trust. 
I play a lot of memes, and most of them end up in the uh, delete deck. In the delete deck. Yeah. <laughs> it's a trash, it's a, it's a trash box. Are, the ones I showed to you, they have been tested. Yeah. But okay, yeah, so. it was a nice final. So we've been really lucky here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lorenz, I, I have a question for you. I went second a lot with I went second I have a question. Why uh, 3D is just asking in the chat why you don't bring Megalith today? Oh yeah, like Megalith just wouldn't be fair. Like it's sport, it's it's un unconducting sportsmanship if you bring Megalith. <laughs> like we wanted oh, okay. to give them a chance. Like it's unfair if you bring Megalith. Okay. Also, just to finish, I would like to thank you guys, the casters, for casting this match and also Hazy for streaming it and all the other casters and the hives for making this possible. This has been two years, uh, more or less, for me playing this and it has been awesome, so thank you all. Yeah, no, thank you, man. You, uh, you, you guys put on oh. a great show. Yeah, no, nothing short of excellency, man. You and the rest of the boys really, uh, did some great work, man. I, again, a applaud to you, my guys. You guys were. Uh... Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Imagine that first season as a team already got a ring under your belt. Where do you? Yeah, go, that uh, was guys... unexpected for sure. <laughs> where do you guys think it's yeah. You first guys can take on the job. Got a ring, Jesus. <laughs> no, Did like we we, we, start, we but... stay we stay all together because the good thing is right what we really like like when we don't have a weekend of playing like it, not in the weekend like just in, from Monday to Friday we are like twenty four hours seven days a week in the voice call nice. like like even, I don't know we are twelve people twelve people like in a normal day in the voice chilling there also, like it's the first team i ever joined where i like just generally really enjoy my time being in the discord messing yeah. around i can stream some bullshit yesterday i streamed me working home office so and we still had fun and that's like the greatest thing don't have pressure on you just have fun clown around and then you play without pressure in it it worked out right on, man. a real family team right there Congrats, man. Very, very good job. Um, uh, Dark, do you have any questions uh, that you want to kind of... Dinner on Yano DLM podcast. Uh, here? No, I think they answered every question. And then there was all my questions, for the most part, were answered in that awesome gameplay. Just congratulations, man. Keep it up. You guys already got a ring under your belt. Keep it going. Uh, no, Thank, we'll you, try. Thank you, Thank you. Yeah, no, great job. You guys have uh, any uh, real final comments or anything you guys uh, really want to state? Thunder no, Dragon Dark off the band list. <laughs> Get Thunder <Sunday> Dragon. <laughs> Seriously, I, I I second that. Okay. Free shit and quiet, please. <laughs> Free shit. <squire. laughs> Fuck squire. Come on. Why you still you still draw it every every duel, Jano? Don't complain. You don't want to have two in your hand. Morphtronic support when make Morphtronic great again. <laughs> We're putting right. this all in Konami's emails right now. I just got an auto reply. It said, "Thank you for playing Duel Links." <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah. nonetheless, uh, congrats, boys! You guys did a fantastic job. Uh, thank you for everyone who came out to support and watch. Uh, myself, Dark, Disturbia, Hazy for casting, all the refs for the work they did this season, all the amazing teams that were able to go ahead and participate and not only make this an exciting season, but one that was enjoyable. Uh, of course, we all hope to see you all next season, as well as new and old and even returning previous teams. I know next season will be even more interesting as uh, than this one was. I'm personally excited for it. I know that everyone else is excited for it. I wish everyone the best of luck and uh, good fortune coming in the next season. But uh, again, my final thoughts are just thank you. Congrats to Diffusion again. Still an excellent performance from X Factors, of course, getting this far in their first season as well. You love to see new teams really making a break, break into the, the league like this. So great job, everyone. I appreciate you all. Uh, these are my final comments. And uh, dark as anything that would just uh, be all man. Oh, and good luck in the MCS, everyone. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, 
good congratulations on you guys win if anything i'm about to take a nice little nap after this but uh Brilliant. if you guys for everybody thank you guys for an amazing season it's my first team war season so i'm I, it was definitely a great experience even got to cast in the final so i hope you guys enjoyed it yeah. if you want to see more of it feel free to hit your boy up dual links lounge I stream every Monday, Thursday, Friday if you guys want to see more from me. That being said, man, good luck to everybody competing in the MCS. Say it again, dark inward fear. <laughs> I got you, Godfather. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. My final words. Hey, go enjoy your, your ring, boys. Congrats. You guys, yeah, they're about to go pop some champagne right now. Yeah. They're going crazy. They're gonna do all over a Zoom call. Who's who's getting the Gatorade for it? Don't know. <laughs> oh goodness, sir. Yeah. Okie dokie, boys. Then all of you have a great day. Yeah, you too, man. I mean, I mean, you guys are already having a good day. If you, if, yeah, man, if, what no, if you guys are in MCS? I'm calling this a rigged APK or something. But, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I still need to find what I'm gonna play for the MCS. So I'm still like, I I'm not playing. I I, I was like, I'm still on a group party. I like some friends coming around. I literally tested for like maybe two three weeks straight, and I just decided my deck last night. So. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's I wish I could decide about yeah. yeah. Bro, play my, play my Infernity list. Just do it. <laughs> okay, dokie, okay, boys. I'm going, I'm going out. Have a great Same. day. A yeah, great Saturday. Too. Good luck for everyone in the MCS. And peace. Good See luck. you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.